I become a little too shy for love? I've been hurt before, all's fair in love and war. So I snuggle up close to the shell I'm living in. And if I let you in, another round begins.
Good morning, YouTube. What's going on? Hello, hello. Hey, we're starting like 10 minutes early for one reason. So on Saturday night, for those of you that were here, we finished Pacific Drive after my second longest stream ever. It was six hours and 40 minutes. I think my record for streaming is seven hours and like 20-ish minutes. Uh, it was the Last of Us 2 stream way back in the day. Anyway, we finished pa Pacific Drive, and I love the hell out of that game. And I had a lot of people in chat and people commenting afterwards and a couple people saying stuff in the Discord. They wanted me to talk longer about the ending. And so I hope you guys will permit me to do that before we dive into today's game, Winter Survival. But welcome, everybody. I hope everybody's doing good. So I thought I would spend like 10-ish minutes here, just recap Pacific Drive and talk about the ending and talk about what I thought. I hope that's okay with everybody. Um, <clears throat> so, hey, listen, I'm going to give like the elevator pitch recap of the story of Pacific Drive. I'm going to do my best, okay? I'm going to do my best. All right, so basically in Pacific Drive, in the Pacific Northwest, the government created this research area to research limb technology, which was created by Dr. Ophelia Turner. And limb technology in that um, area became riddled with anomalies and all sorts of weird stuff going on. And essentially the government walled that whole area off and was like we don't know what the fuck's happening over there we're gonna pretend it never happened it's all behind some walls uh and we're gonna forget about limb technology and we come along in like 20 30 ish years later i think uh driving a delivery in our old station wagon and we get sucked into what is now called the exclusion zone and when we're in the exclusion zone, uh, radiation storm starts happening and we come across an old beat up station wagon and we need some cover from the storm. We need to get the fuck away from the storm. Right. So we hop in the station wagon and then we start talking to these th essentially three different people over the radio of the station wagon. Dr. Francis Cook, Dr. Ophelia Turner and then Tobias. Uh, and I forgive me, I'm forgetting Tobias's last name. And essentially what we find out is that the station wagon that we found in the exclusion zone is something called a remnant, right? And a remnant is essentially like, think the easiest way for me to describe this without going too deep is an SCP. A remnant is an SCP that has a cognito hazard effect, right? So what it does is it attaches itself to a person and makes that person become obsessed with it and psychically linked with it. And the obsession goes so deep that it drives the other person insane. And the other person is so attached to that remnant that they cannot let it go. They cannot live without it, right? And essentially, over the course of the story, we are tasked with uh, finding out more about what a remnant is and how the hell to detach ourselves from this car right how to get rid of the remnant so that we can leave the exclusion zone and go back to the normal world and our normal life right that's essentially the overarching goal in order to do that oppie and uh tobias and francis tell us that we have to go deeper into the zone we have to explore the exclusion zone we have to figure out what exactly a uh, remnant is what it's made up of how we get rid of it right and so we have to breach into the mid zone and then the deep zone and then finally we're told there's this place called the well that francis and oppie have said seems to have energy energy signatures linked with the remnant and so obviously we need to go to the well we need to figure out what is the well what does that have to do with the remnant and is there a way for us to delink ourselves so the game ends a lot of people, I think, are upset with the ending of the game or they don't like it, okay? Um, <clears throat> and the reason they don't like it, I think, is it's very open-ended. It's very short, and there's not a ton of answers in it. So I will say this. I think the ending is the weakest part of the game, okay? Um, I don't think it's the best part of the game by any means. I think it is the weakest, but I don't think it's terrible, okay? Um, and I think... Parts of it are, I, I understand what they were going for, and I see why they did what they did. And so let me explain the ending real quick. So the ending is essentially, you go into the well, and you're transported to this, like, area with a bunch of TVs. And you start walking through that area, and you get a bunch of flashbacks of voices. You get Francis and Tobias talking together. Um, 
like in the past. You get Oppie and Alan talking together. Alan is Oppie. He was like another scientist and like her husband um, who he eventually passed away uh, before the events of the game. And then eventually Tobias dies during the events of the game leading up to getting to the deep zone. You hear Tobias talk to you, but it's not past Tobias. It's Tobias essentially as if he knew that he's dead and he's no longer with us. Like it's like present Tobias, even though he's dead. Um, and you walk through and you get all this backstory about Oppie and Alan and Francis and Tobias and you get Tobias talking to you from essentially the afterlife or whatever you want to call it, right? Um, or another reality or dimension or anything like that, right? And then after you get through this whole sequence, walking through TVs and everything, you get back out, you're back at your car, and Oppie and, to and Francis tell you, they're like, hey, they're like, uh, we've opened a gateway. We can't hold it open for long. You need to get to the gateway and get away from the well because the well is, is not stable. So you race to the gateway, you get through the gateway, you make it back to the garage, and then that's where the ending of the game comes in. And the ending of the, ending of the game after that is essentially just Oppie and Francis talking to you and kind of wrapping things up. And what come to find out what happened is, is when you went into the well, the remnant was purged from you uh, or from the, the station wagon that you've been having. So Oppie makes a statement saying that the remnant is no longer... Uh, a part of the car and no longer affecting you. Um, but she says that the car is still yours, still attached to you, which is weird, still attached to you and that it'll still protect you. And then essentially what happens is Oppie says, I'm done with the zone. I'm done. I, I, I got my closure in hearing the memories of Alan and myself when you were in that little weird TV area. She's like, I'm done. I'm leaving. And she's like, Francis and Dr they call you Driver, the character Driver, right? She's Francis and Driver. You guys can stay here and keep exploring the zone and, and, you know, researching or doing whatever you want. Or you can get the fuck out, too. I don't care. It's your decision. It's up to you. And then she says, just do me a favor. This is really important, I feel like. She says, just do me a favor. If you figure out any more information or you figure out what's causing these anomalies, don't fucking tell me. I don't want to know. She's like, don't tell me. I don't want to know anything else. I'm done. Peace out. She's much nicer about it than that. She's just essentially saying that like her part in this whole exclusion zone and everything is finished. And she's walking away from it, right? <laughs> and so the game eventually ends with Francis saying essentially like, yeah, he doesn't know if he could do it without Oppie, but he's going to stay behind in the zone. You don't have to stay with him, but if you want to stay with him, he'll help you and you guys can explore the zone, see what else you can find out, right? And that's essentially the end of the game. And I get it. We start the game with a cinematic of you being sucked into the zone. There's no huge, like, ending cinematic for the game, and it's all story exposition, right, in the garage. So I do think it's a little weak. It's maybe like a 7 out of 10 in my book, the ending part is. Um, but here's... Here's why I think it fits, okay? Here's why I think it fits. So this is going to sound weird, but hear me out. Pacific Drive is a love story. It's a love story from three different angles, okay? It's a love story. This is going to sound crazy, but it's a love story between you and the car, the driver and the car. It absolutely is because that's what the Remnant does. It turns you into obsessing over your car, right? And obsession is just... a weird twisted form of love right it's also a love story about oppie and alan over the course of the story we find out oppie invented limb technology and she was a famous scientist she also married a famous scientist named alan and they were researching that stuff together right and it kind of talks about you you kind of get this story elements between their love and their life together but both of them also wanting to research things and pursue their career and their work and knowledge right and then it's also Francis and Tobias. It's never explicitly stated, but it's very clear that when Tobias dies, how heartbroken Francis is. I mean, even if it was just your friend, you would be. But I'm pretty sure that Francis and Tobias are a couple. Uh, I'm pretty sure that they are. And so it's a, it's their love story and then ultimately the ending of it, right? Because Tobias passes away, unfortunately, to help get us out. So there's like these three love stories at play in the game. And I think one of the biggest themes of the game 
is letting go. Okay. And the reason I say that is because let's think about Oppie's story for a minute, right? Oppie was the scientist who invented limb technology that basically ended up creating all the anomalies in the exclusion zone. Her husband scientist, Alan, passed away. But before he passed away, I think he passed away in an accident, if I remember correctly. He was trying to convince Oppie to stop her work on the exclusion zone and leave with him and start a family, right? And she was telling him, yes, I want to I want to do that. We're going to do that. But I have some things to finish here, right? I got to finish this. I got to see my work through to the end. And he was supportive of that. But he was like, I, I think we're getting to a point where it's time for you to let go and us to move on, right? And Oppie never did that before he died. And at the end of the game, we see Oppie finally make that decision, which is, I'm going to stop staying in the exclusion zone. I'm going to let this go. My work is done. And she even kind of admits, I should have left a long time ago, right? So she Oppie learned over the course of the story to let go, right? And she left. And then to Francis has to learn to let go of Tobias, right? He loves Tobias, but all all natural things come to an end, right? And unfortunately, Tobias dies to save the driver and to uh, help uh, keep the battery powered to open the gateway to the deep zone, right? And so uh, Francis learns to let go by, you know, accepting, I guess you could say, Tobias's death. And then the last thing I will say is the love story between Remnant and the driver, right? Um, as the driver, you are psychically linked to the car. You're obsessed with it. You, you, you love it. You want to keep it around. But you're also desperately trying to find a way to let it go, right? And um, I think near the end of the story, too, the Remnant, while it still wants to help you and it wants to be connected to you, like, obviously, it doesn't stop you from driving, right it doesn't stop you from going into the well it doesn't stop you from going into the final gateway right so it doesn't stop itself from being purged right so even though you could say these two things are connected and love each other it's about letting go right so they left the story very open-ended um i think and a lot of exposition at the end which i don't know if that was the best execution but i think the ex story exposition that we're told at the end fits the game's themes a lot. Um, and that's why I think it's not a terrible ending, I guess, if that makes sense. Also, Pacific Drive is a it's a there's a storytelling technique uh, called the iceberg theory, which is um, if you're telling a story, you give everybody the tip of the iceberg, but you craft the story in such a way that there's so much more that isn't said, but can be inferred from the story underneath the water, right? It's something that a lot of great storytellers have mastered. It's really easy to fuck up, but it's also, if it's done right, it makes for amazing stories. And I think some of the things that we all love, like SCP, um, you know, a lot of horror games and stuff, they don't always answer all the questions, right? They leave stuff open-ended and they leave stuff for the, the person to infer, right? <clears throat> for the audience member or the consumer of that story to infer. And I think that's what Pacific Drive is going for here. They fumbled a little bit on the ending. It's not perfect, right? I think there was ways to execute it better, to do the iceberg theory storytelling method a little better. But I don't think it's a terrible ending, and I don't think it's the worst ever. Again, weakest part of the game, but I still liked it, and I see what they're going for. So that's my thoughts on the ending of pacific drive i will say i have one other wild theory okay so i think you could take everything in the game at face value everything as i just explained it right and you can say all of that was real all of it happened i think there's another wild theory that's a small possibility <laughs> and i want to share that with you guys for a minute uh i think there's a possibility that francis tobias and oppie never existed in the state that we knew them so I think they were real people um, for this theory, but they left the exclusion zone a long time ago. We get sucked into the exclusion zone. We find the remnant and the remnant is essentially causing us to hallucinate and hear Oppie, Tobias and Francis. And it's using them as a sort of forms of communication with us. And the reason is, is 
the remnant wants us to explore the exclusion zone and figure out more about its surroundings and its environment right and it wants to try to potentially even get out of the exclusion zone right so it attaches yourself to you causes you to have these hallucinations because it's weird oppy tells you to use your mechanics eye to scan and learn about the zone right and uh I think that's interesting. When you scan and you learn about the zone, you pick up fragments, right? What's another word for fragment? A remnant, right? So you pick up fragments or pieces of scientific research notes or notes between uh, people working in the exclusion zone or whatever. You get pieces of the story. You get remnants of what happened in the exclusion zone, right? And I think that's very interesting. And then you could say by the end of the story that instead of the remnant actually being purged from you, what actually happens when you went into the well is that is the remnant completing its takeover of your mind and your psyche. And now you are fully like owned and controlled essentially by the remnant. And the remnant makes you believe that, hey, everything's all cool, man. You you got rid of me. No, there's nothing wrong. And you can make a you can make a choice if you want to stay behind and continue exploring, or you can go on and do your own thing, right? But obviously the game ends. If you leave the game, you never actually walk out of the exclusion zone. If you turn the game off, you're still in the exclusion zone, right? So that's a wild theory. The theory could be that like everything that you experienced with Oppie, Francis, and Tobias is an illusion, a hallucination that the remnant made you feel. So all right. Anyway. That's my thoughts on the ending of Pacific Drive. Some people wanted me to do that, some channel members to talk about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I went longer than 10 minutes. I'm sorry, that went 17 minutes. Great game. Pacific Drive's like a 9 out of 10 for me. A uh, little bit of a weak ending. And then there were some bugs throughout the game, not a ton. But overall, it's a fantastic game, guys. If you're looking for a good survival game to play and you want to play, I highly recommend it. Okay? Highly, highly recommend it. All right. Let's get into today's game, though. All right, we're going to play Winter Survival. This is a new survival game that came out on March 6th. Um, hey, I want to give a shout out to the devs. The devs hooked me up with an early access key to this. They gave me a key like a week early. But I do want to be very clear. This is not a sponsored stream. I did not get paid to make this. I didn't take any money to make this. I just got a free key. And I would never take a free key or never take a sponsorship that I wasn't allowed to tell you guys by true authentic thoughts and feelings about a game if a sponsor was ever like you're not allowed to talk bad about a game i'd tell them to go fuck themselves okay but this is not a sponsor all right so and they didn't give me any talking points or they didn't say hey if you take this key you got to say xyz they're just like here's a key we hope you play our game i was like hell yeah thank you the other thing i want to say is i've seen a lot of people online um play this and they enjoy it but it's they say it's been bug ridden a lot of creators like myself got an early access key and an early access version. And if you don't know this about content creation, a lot of creators like pre-plan their videos and they record stuff early because they get early access. Um, I specifically, as soon as I started seeing people having trouble and problems with this game uh, from a bug perspective, I specifically decided I wasn't going to play it before it released because the developers had sent out emails saying that they were working on patches and that they were going to be patching stuff. So there was a massive release day patch. And there's been like four or five patches that I've updated since release. I don't know that that means everything's fixed. But this version that we're playing, there was literally a patch this morning. The version that we're playing right now is the most up-to-date version. Hopefully they've squashed a lot of the bugs and everything. I don't know. We'll find out together. Either way, it looks like a really cool survival game. It has like a sanity mechanic and everything. There are two modes. There's a story mode and there's an endless mode. So endless mode is basically just survive as long as you can. And then the story mode is anywhere from a two and a half to five hour experience. So I figured we'd do the story mode today. Maybe we finish it today. Maybe we don't. We'll see. But we'll do the story mode together. Figure out what all that jazz is about. See if it works. Um, they have said that this is a very fucking hard game. They've said that this is a really, really hard game. Um, and, uh, they really recommend that you start off on the default difficulty, uh, even if you're experienced with survival games. So that's Explorer. So that's what we're going to stick to. I'm not going to try to punish myself right off the bat. <laughs> you guys want to see me struggle, but do you, you don't want to see me like never, ever progress. Okay. 
So that's what we're going to go for there. Um, <clears throat> hold on, I'm just making sure settings are up to date. I don't know what other creators played on. If they played on anything else, maybe they're just god tier. But we're going to stick to what the devs said is a good idea. And I'm not going by. That's something I think they put on their Steam page at other places. Uh, Gamma is a little bit up. Yeah, yeah, let's go. All right. Before I get started, I see everyone piling in here. There's 105 people already. I appreciate it. I hope everybody's doing good. I think we had Goober and Mr. Diamante from the mod team. I appreciate you guys. I hope you guys are doing good. Thanks for being here. Um, I saw Stephanie, Leslie, Josh G. We got Grimms. We got Coast Ally, Big Phrase, Bishop, Cass, Jacob Sanchez, Warrior7. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining. I hope you're doing good. Stephanie, I spent 17 minutes at the beginning of stream talking about the ending of Pacific Drive. Check that out when you get a chance. Marshall, welcome. Good to have you. Firespark, good to see you. Thanks for joining. Curtis M., Welcome. Nula was here as well. Nula, good to have you. Crypto Neo. Crypto Neo became a channel member at the engineer level. Crypto Neo, I really appreciate that. Thanks a, thanks a bunch. It helps out. Um, who else we got? Who else we got? Babylon Sky. We got Wait For It. Welcome. Good to have everybody. Nitish. King Edward. Good to see everybody. Welcome to all the lurkers as well. We got Carrie. Absolute legend, Carrie. Carrie, I hope you're doing good. Good to have you. Ladlaw. Scott Mason. All right, hey, <clears throat> I'm going to do my once a stream plug. I'm going to be a YouTuber. Listen, this new content schedule, six videos a week. It's a lot. Three streams, three edited, right? I'm working on my way to becoming a full-time creator. So if you guys could help me out, hit the like button, comment. If you feel like chatting, chat in live chat, it all helps out. It's all engagement. It helps out. And also there's a link at the top of the description or at the top of live chat and in the video descriptions of different ways that you could support me financially if you can. If you want to become a channel member, if you want to drop a dollar donation, even a dollar helps out once a month, okay? If you can't donate, don't worry about it. Take care of yourself and your family first. But if you enjoy my content and you've got an extra dollar or two and you can throw it my way with whatever method supports you best, go ahead and do that. I really appreciate it. All right, let's dive in. Let's see what this is about. It says, from the devs, welcome to Winter Survival. With early access, you may encounter minor issues, bugs, or even crashes. That's an understatement, according to some people. In such cases, to ensure a quick response from our side, use the reporting tool or submit them to our Discord. Besides that, being part of the Discord community gives you an opportunity to influence further development of the game by directly communicating with us. Without any further ado, immerse yourself in the unforgiving experience of Winter Survival. I will say, the devs published on Steam a roadmap, and they have a bunch of planned content. Uh, and it seems like they have a very clear plan moving forward for what they want this game to be, but they also have left it open some for feedback from the community, which I think is really cool. Sarah Davidson with the $2 super chat said, let's go. Sarah, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Helps out a bunch. All right. Hold on. My controller's not connecting. Why well, no connect? Son of a bitch, uh, why no work? Uh, I don't want the keyboard uh, sounds in the background. Fuck, dude, hold on. Give me a sec. Tech I need a technical difficulty screen, guys. I gotta make one. What's up, Setch? Welcome. Warden, good to have you. Thanks for joining. Uh, I apologize. I don't know how to say your name, but uh, I'm just gonna call you CM. CM, welcome. Good to have you. Thanks for joining. Fine, controller's supposed to work. You know what? Fuck it, we'll just hit this. We're gonna, oh, cold wave. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Um, ooh, I do think I need to move my camera too. Hold on, give me a second. I just remembered this. I gotta go up here, guys. Hey, hey, hi guys. Four walls, four doors, four corners. Four corners. I think if I was down there, it might cause UI ishababicious. So we'll just pop ourselves up here, okay? Yeah, we're doing Explorer. We're doing Explorer, because that's what the devs recommend. Act 1, Act 2 coming, coming, coming soon? Coming soon. 
Act one coming soon. All right, we'll do introduction. Start it off. Carrie with the $10 stream elements donation. Carrie, you rock star. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Longtime supporter. You're a legend. Hold LB to focus. Okay. I know how to pick up a phone. Yo, it's me, Joel. I'm going on a trip with Mike. Care to join us? Sure, man. Great. I'll pick you up tomorrow. Danny, come and feel it. Hold LB to focus? What am I feeling? Honey, I'm waiting. Am I feeling your belly? That's weird. This is a mannequin's belly. I don't like this. Why did you did... feel it? Okay. Uh, it, you're wooden. Wonderful, isn't it? Danny? Sure. Do you have to go? Danny, Danny, Danny. what the hell? Oh, shit. Get up and help us. Oh, damn. So am I like knocked out right now? Danny, what the hell? Get up and help us. Grab I need a spear. Stick. Hurry. Grab the stick. Okay. How why is there sticks stuck in like wood or a lot? Behind you. Hey. hey, hey. Ah! That was a little rough. It's going to be okay. Just breathe. That was really big and close to my face. Are you hurt? No. Okay. Good. Remember the cave? Go there and hide. I'm going to look for Mike. But okay. No way. I'll never get there alone. You will. Just keep the radio on. I'll tell you what to do. All right. Why am I going to the cave? Outsmart the pack. Okay. Get moving through. Go through the bushes. Stay crouched when moving to a different bush. It's quieter. Press A next to a rock to climb it. Where am I climbing? Oh, I'm climbing over here. All right, I got you. Okay, crouch. Fuck. Oh, wait. I'm oh going no. Ahead. I'll give you a signal. Okay, wait for him to. I don't see the wolves. Where are they? Okay, go. Stay crouched when. Oh, there they are. I don't have any weapons, bro. I don't like this. I expected the introduction. Do you know what to do? I expected the introduction to be longer. They just kind of threw me out here, didn't they? What happened to us? I am assuming plane crash, right? We'll figure it out. All right. Stay crouched. They went that way, right? If I uncrouch, I'm assuming they'll be able to hear me. Yo. No, stop yelling. Stop, stop howling. None of that shit, bitch. It's not allowed. Those bastards are blocking the path. Sergeant Snowball, what's up? Welcome. Good see to see you. Over there. Try to scare it away. Pick up snow. Oh, we're going to pelt the crow. LT to charge. Oh, we're getting cold. See that crow over there? Try to scare it away. Dude. All right, this is still like the introduction. Okay. Okay. We'll count that. <laughs> we'll count that as the first death. <laughs> I see the crow. How do I pick up a snowball? Oh no, have we encountered our first bug? Okay, there we go. Oh, he didn't care about that. How do I pick up a snowball? She's just telling me to focus. Yeah, I see that goddamn crow. What's up, uh, <laughs> Woodvine? Welcome. What's up, Hokin Gaming? Uh, classic Mini Cooper with the five gifted channel memberships. Those went to Nathan, Darth Vapor, uh, Suddenly Sleep, Hatsuma, and Rob the Gamer. Welcome to channel membership on behalf of the Rockstar. Oh, okay. Okay. I got it. I got it now. I got it. I got it. Uh, 
On behalf of Mini Cooper, the absolute rock star. Okay. We figured it out. Oh, he was munching on some bones, dude. Is that like his uh, awareness meter? My hands are freezing. You'll warm yourself up in the cave. Okay. I guess I should I shouldn't go on top of the rock. There's nothing I can use to distract them. Just run for it, Joel. Never I need mind. to fight. They went away. That's lucky that they went away. Climb the ledge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get up. <gasps> That's a brown bear, dude. That's a no-go. Holy shit. He's got a bunch of battle scars, too. Shit. I can't. You have to. I mean, I could just die. I don't have to. This could be the end. <laughs> There's no way I outrun wolves, dude. No way. What the fuck? What the fuck? Why are you doing this to me? They'll follow me into a cave, bro. Holy shit. I can't, like... Catch your breath. Joel, I can't hear you. Woo! Joel. Okay, first drink something, then think. Drink something, then think. Okay, open inventory. Some items in your inventory can be assigned to quick slots. Just drag the item to choose the slot. Drop the item into the chosen quick slot to later use this item. Simply press the assigned slot. Press, press the button. Sign to the slot or select it using the radial menu. Okay. Uh, ooh, a canteen. So like, hold on. I should have signed that to a slot first, right? Great. All right, I'm no longer it's thirsty. Uh, I should refill it, right? How do I assign it? Um, so drop assigned to radial. There we go. Uh, let's put it down here. Okay. And then I just go like that. Okay, gotcha. What am I supposed to do? Oh, I'm supposed to refill it. I'm supposed to refill it. So we're hold the drink. Hold the drink. Uh, where's my where's my water meter? I'll just drink all of this water. All right, and then I gotta refill the canteen, right? Oh, I gotta take it out first. That is. So I hear something. Huh? I bro, bro. What's up, Spacewalker? What's up, Swordwing? Welcome. Good to have you, Lurko. Man, you scared me. Oh. Okay. Sorry. I think I'm still in stealth mode. Okay. I need to catch my breath. What about Mike? Can't see anything in this weather. We need to wait till morning. Okay. Uh, okay. So, then what? We need to rest and eat. Sir, yes, right. sir. Who put fire. you in charge? I can make a fire. You taught me how. Great. Make it somewhere nearby. And check my backpack. The rest should be just lying around. Gotcha. Uh, do, yep. Check my backpack. Proper campfire crafting. Okay. I'm gonna take. Can I just take everything out of your backpack? Transfer all. Joel's backpack. No, 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 no. I want to take everything. How do I go over to your backpack? Oh, this way. And then I want to transfer all. Hey, thanks, man. I'll take all that. Open crafting tab. Crafting windows divided into categories. Blah, blah, blah. Construction. Yeah, fire. You can assign any blueprint to a quick slot or press LT to create a designated object. Okay. Uh, all right. So we need 10 rock. Goober, I think you're right. I didn't see it now. There's so much on the screen. <laughs> you guys aren't missing anything, by the way, behind my face. There's nothing except that F7 button, which is radar, radar, radar. There's nothing else under my face. There's so much stuff in other places of the screen. Classic Mini Cooper with the $10 super chat said, I morning, Skilly, morning chat. Thanks, Skilly, for all you do for us. Mini Cooper, you legend. Thank you. I really appreciate that. All right. Uh, we need rocks. Oh, look at that. There just happens to be a pile of rocks over here. We got four rocks. Okay. 
six rocks 10 rocks i think that's enough all right open the crafting menu and then we're gonna hit we're gonna hit craft and where do we want to put it we want to put it right here we want to put it right here oh, all right all right all right interact with campfire to put food in use light and cook it up all right uh let's uh let's tender you have access to food fuel and recipes from the campfire window okay while you're in the food tab you can place the food of your choice over the campfire by right clicking yep yep when you place food in the fire you'll be able to see how much is left until it's cooked okay uh this element shows the remaining fuel level of the campfire you can raise it by adding wood or other appropriate items from the fuel tab as the campfire burns, coal is produced. You could collect it in the inventory. If there's enough fuel in the campfire, clicking the light up button will light it up. All right. Uh, yeah, I want to, uh, can, can I, how do I, uh, how do I, uh, put this over there? Is there already light up? I guess we're lighting it. That was pretty cool. Uh, how do I put food over? Food? Sausage. Oh, oh yeah, dude. Cook me some meat sticks. Feels good. Cook me some meat sticks. Yeah. Chicken Warfare with the two dollar super chat said I'm you make a boring school day go by faster. Yeah, Chicken Warfare. Yeah. You rock star. Yeah. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Too tight in here. Find a different spot. I can't if I walk out of here, dude, he's gonna fucking He's gonna fucking see me. He's standing in the fire. That fucking absolute. He's he's fireproof, dude. That bear is fireproof. What the fuck? Okay, so we're in his cave. I see. CJ, welcome to the stream. You, the artist, welcome. I didn't. I thought he was leaving. I thought the bear was leaving. Come out now. Elder God, welcome. Good to have you. Robo Sen, good to have you. Oh my gosh. Okay. Whew. Dude, did you see that? I died and came back to life, bro. Prince, what the hell did he eat to grow this big? Other bears. People. Bears don't eat people. Right. I mean, if they're hungry enough and you and you're there, you like a little Slim Jim for him. All right, check the oh, check the food. Did he take our food? No, he didn't. How do I get meat scraps out? Cake. Oh, there we disgusting. go. Now that we have anything better. <laughs> yeah. All right, open inventory to eat the meat. Uh, okay. Inventory. Where's my meat stick? Oh yeah. Go to sleep. I'll keep watch, then we'll switch. All right. Uh, thanks. Who put you Tomorrow in charge we'll again? Scout the area. Try to find help or at least shelter. What about Mike? Don't worry. We'll find him too. Now nah, I'm sure we will. He's going to be mauled to death by uh by by Big Brown. Where am I supposed to just go to sleep right here? Dude, there's no bed. I expected better from you. Place a sleeping bag on the ground. Oh, okay. I can do that. Uh inventory. Where's my sleeping bag? Let's get... We gotta get... Can I, like, set it right here? Nah, okay. We don't want to burn to death. Right there. Use the sleeping bag. Night-night. Sir Kierdo with the $20 super chat said for me and Queen Asuna. Morning all. Sorry I'm late to the party. Skilly goes Skyrim on that bear. Sir Kierdo, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Break. I'll, I'll be back soon, okay? Sure. Come on, guys, wake up. <sighs> Shit, we're late. There's the bus. Danny, run! Wake up! Run! Uh, uh, is he fighting a bear right now? Is that what's happening? It's loading. Okay. Oh, I'm running. I'm running, running. 
I think the bear came back in the middle of the night. Okay. Break your leg or get eaten by a bear. What's the options here? I think it's break our leg. Yeah, that's a good idea. Fall on your back and paralyze yourself. I don't know why he's fighting a bear. Oh, Mar oh no, my book bag is up there! What? Where am I? All right, new objective, survive. I can't feel my fingers. Oh no, I'm cold. Joel, I have to call him. Uh, my book bag's Shit, up there. I lost my gear. I need sticks. I need something. I need to collect stuff. I need to make a fire. Uh, what does this say? Hot, Hot springs. springs. Ooh, okay. I need to get there. This way. All right. Seems brittle. Break it down with a tool of some sort. Oh, how lucky. How lucky. How do I get over to... Oh, RT. That's right. That's gonna... That's gonna bother me until I remember it. Okay, we have... What should I do? Can I craft something? Like a fucking... Like a spear? No, I can't. Uh, what else do I have then? Fabric. I have this. I don't know what this is. What is it? Wouldn't you, can I break it with a chest? Hot spring? Yeah, 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 yeah. I know that. I know that. I want to equip. I need to equip stuff. Why can't I use this? It doesn't. A lockpick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope. The bear was unbearable? He was. Oh, okay. There's just a thing. Ooh. Pick tall grass? Sure, why not? It wants me to run this way to find tools, I guess. Okay. <gasps> Whoa. I'm assuming the bear did that, right? Holy shit. Oh, I hear wolves. Oh. <gasps> a parachute so yeah we must have come from a plane right oh fuck he's no he's dead. he's been here a while holy shit okay i did, didn't seem like i could enter wait i feel like i should go back there's my sanity meter down there now the brain that's pulsing can i do anything with this guy no nope, he's just dead Sprinting's loud, but fuck it. I'm gonna die out here of exposure don't if I don't get. It. Just go. Yep, yep. <sighs> How did he not see me, bro? How did he not see me? All right, where are we still going? I'm just running. I'm just running. Oh, finally. What happens if I stand in it? Oh, okay. Nothing. Ooh, nice and toasted, baby. Get all that. Get that cold meter all the way down on the left there. All the way down. The wolves need to go to the optometrist. Yeah, they do. Hey, what's up, Dave C. Kings? Welcome. Good to have you. Phoenix, good to see you. Thanks for joining. Ooh, it's nice and toast. Why don't I just make my camp here, dude? Oh, that feels much better. We're just make my camp here. Oh, uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Ha! <laughs> nope. 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 Too many wolves at the hot springs, dude. They're on a spa day. We're getting the fuck out. Oh my god. Adrenaline rush? So I get like an extra boost of stamina? Where am I? My leg. Oh, I broke my leg? I need to take care of this. <laughs> I broke my leg. All right, my ankle. My leg. I should check inside. Yeah, yeah we just got to get up there, dude. <gasps> Why does it... How is that alive? What? What the fuck is wrong with me? Oh, my sanity. Oh, my sanity. Oh, dude, that was so badass. I start to hallucinate and see shit. That was really cool. 
my sanity, my brain is like mostly red down there. That's pretty dope. Can't go in that way, I guess. The music in this game is pretty neat. Yeah, I'll agree with that. The background ambience has been pretty good. You guys let me know if it's too loud or too low. All right. All right, we have shelter. I mean, this is a win, right? Even if there is a hole in the roof. Uh, what's in here? Oh, we got stick. Oh, leg stabilizer. Wow. There just happened to be a leg stabilizer in here. Okay. I mean, I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. Drying line. Okay. What else do we got? We're taking stock of everything and then we got to figure out what to do. Old bottle. I'll take that. Old train toy. I don't know what the old train toys are going to be for. Woodcutter's bed is to save. Broken kettle. I'm assuming we could use that to boil water, right? Um, I probably can't climb that right now, even with my leg. All right, we got to take care of the leg, right? Uh, we're going to put this on leg stabilizer. Yeah, I want to use it. A. Yep, I'd love to use this. You know what? Fucking, I feel like, I feel like it's not working with the controller. We're going to switch. We're going to switch. Hold on. Maybe they need to work on the controller stuff more. All right. Much better. There we go. Still, Worked right away. This okay. Cold is killing me. Worked right away. Sir Kirto with the five gifted channel memberships. Those with the Sam, Sam Rock, Shamrock, Scarlet Raven, Rao Gore, Brian Kirk, and Luna C. Welcome to channel membership. On behalf of the rock star, Sir Kirto. Really appreciate that, man. Thanks for doing that. All right. Let's see what else is going on. Hold on. I got to create more space here on my desk. Now that I'm using this, I'm going to need to access to my death thing too. All right. What's this? Soft log. Yeah. Don't mind if I do. Uh, start a fire. Start a fire. All right. So uh, use light up G. Uh, so I have to actually put fuel in it. Soft log. Okay. Use. Light up, baby. Okay. Joel, I hope you found Mike. Uh, I th I don't think he's alive, I dude. For them right now. I don't think I'm Joel's tired. alive, bro. I'm too tired, so I'm supposed to sleep. Okay. All right. All right. This we just woke up, trip. dude. We just woke up. Ooh, I can pick how long I sleep. A hundred, my trauma, a hundred percent. Uh, seven hours? Sure. How do I change this? I can't right now. Okay, it's just telling me you're gonna sleep for that long. All right. Each debuff incurred during survival counts towards increasing your trauma. If trauma hits a hundred percent, insanity triggers. Okay. Interesting. Insanity weakens one hemisphere of the brain at a time. Left, responsible for adaptation disorders. Right, requiring the selection of a new symptom. Ooh. Symptoms alter the survival dynamics by distorting reality. Choose a negative perk wisely as it affects persist permanently even though coping mechanisms are available. Holy shit, really? Psychosis, hallucinations, traumatic events are starting to take a toll on your sanity. You're hallucinating. And if you don't take care of yourself, it'll get much worse. That's pretty cool. Perception fatigue, brief light limitations may follow instinct mode. Sight limitations may follow instinct mode activation. Rapid head movement, movement can expedite recovery. Psychosis, delusion, prey, non-aggressive animals like deers or rabbits may materialize as hallucinations, making hunting more challenging. Throw a rock, snowball, or approach animal to distinguish illusion from reality. Uh, psychosis, disorientation, experience disorientation such as hallucinations, warp reality, things change, testing your perception. Throw a rock, snowball, or approach objects to distinguish illusion from reality. Dude, that sounds so cool. 
Fear of the Graves. Feel the presence of the afterlife, which causes an energy draining heart rate spike. Avoid tombstones during active hallucinations signaled by a blue flame. Holy shit. Psychosis, delusion predator, aggressive animals like wolves or boars may materialize as hallucinations, making hunting more challenging. Throw, throw something at them. Okay. Interesting. Oh, I have to choose one of these? So I already have the first one. Oh, no, I have to actually choose one of these. Hmm. Huh. I'm going to take I'm going to take this one. Psychosis, delusion, prey. I feel like that'll be the less the least crippling. OK. Oh, terrible night. I better go back and get my stuff. All right. Save the game. I hope it's in one piece. Oh, there's a bunch of shit here. Bunch of shit. How do I crouch? See? Okay. I gotta change that. Sorry, guys. Hold on. Key bindings. <clears throat> Shift to sprint. Yeah, do they use alt for anything? I would love to have my crouch be alt. Let's just make sure. I don't see it being used for anything. So where's crouch? No, that's swim. Swim was what? Re uh, hold on. Delete. Reset. 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 Mistakes. No, 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 no. Don't put it to delete. Reset settings. Oh, it was caps. Wait. C. Yeah. Uh, no. I want that to be... Oh, control. Not, not all. Control. Well, wait. Shit. Was control used for anything else? Did anybody see control for anything else? No. Okay. We're good. Uh. Uh. Okay. There we go. All right. Sa saving. G save. All right. Retrieve your gear. Okay. Can I craft anything? How do I get to my inventory? Is it I? Oh, oh, why do we do? Why do we do this in games? Can we talk about this PC gamers? Why the fuck do we do this? Hold on. Hold on. We're going to fix this right now. Why do we do this? Does anybody know? Why do we make buttons all the way in bumfuck nowhere? Huh? Does anybody know? On the keyboard. I won't be reaching all the way over there. I'm lazy, dude. I'm playing a video game. Uh, let's put E there. Let's put inventory as two, I guess. Um, we needed G for something, right? Okay, we'll do that for right now. You guys get to see all the behind the scenes stuff today. I usually do. This is the stuff that IGP and I cut from the video. Where we're key binding everything in survival games. All right. Um, do, 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 do. So now... Now, it's still not working. What the fuck? Why is my keybind not working? Fuck you, game. No, 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 no. Don't save. There we go. There's my inventory. Okay. Let's go get our fucking gear, dude. Momentary intermission. It's all the way. Oh, whoa! I'm ice skating, bro. What the fuck? I don't like that, dude. There you are. Okay, how do I get that? Can I make a spear and throw it at it? Oh, I see. I see. I see. Jack Yo Lantern, it was your birthday? You had a good birthday? I'm glad to hear that. Happy belated birthday. Is there a way to get back up there from here? What is this? Why does this rock look like this? Nancy has been a channel member at the engineer level for one month. Said, hey, Skilly, thank you for doing morning streams. It's been hard to stay awake till 3 a.m. Funny story. I think Dre might have been a dude who yelled out of an apartment winter to a YouTuber, Johnny Strides. Really? 
Interesting. I have not heard of Johnny Strides before. It's a lot of us YouTubers, though. We're like a plague. We're everywhere. Um. <laughs> uh, Nancy, you rock star. Thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. How do I... I know I'm not supposed to jump that. You know what? I feel like I need to go back. I can't go back up, though, can I? Shite. All right, we'll go this way. Yeah, I prefer controller Mini Cooper just because it's easier when I'm streaming, too. There's less keys involved, right? And I grew up console gaming because I grew up pretty poor. So I was always like a generation behind typically until I got my own job. And then I also like, you know, PCs were more expensive back in the day um, <clears throat> relative to incomes and everything. Not saying that they're not still expensive. Uh, they definitely are. But um, <clears throat> controller is just more comfortable for me. So if I could play with controller, I'd normally do. But it seemed like controller was I was having some issues with key bindings and such. On the controller, so I switched to mouse and keyboard. I could do, I could do mouse and keyboard. I just prefer controller. You have two buttons on the side of your mouse? Oh god, I have, I have a couple of different mice, but um, <laughs> one I use the most is um, <clears throat> what is this? Razer Naga Pro. I got twelve buttons on the side. It's 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 redunculous. It's redunculous. Uh, I don't end up... I use it for editing. It's mainly for editing. It is not for... Fuck. I think I have to go back, dude. Like, for real. I think I have to go back around. Uh, it's not for gaming. I typically only do, like, three or four custom keybinds for gaming. Uh, I use all 12 keybinds for editing, though. Because it's really nice because you could do macros. So I can program a key to do multiple button inputs at one time. And that saves me from having to click a bunch of different buttons to do one specific thing in, in editing software. Saves a lot of time. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I forgot that there are predators out here. I don't know why I forgot that. Ah! Oh God, okay. Stay away from me, bitch. Hey, is this like some kind of Native American burial site? Am I not supposed to be here? What is this? It's campfire. Can I start this? I got a frying pan. Can I not use this though? I guess I can't. Okay. Ooh. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Inventory. Can I? What can I craft? I need a spear, dude. I need a weapon. I need a crafting bench. Okay. I feel like I'm further out than I'm supposed to be, but... Leave me alone! Why were you just waiting at the entrance for me to come out, you fuck? Ah! Ah! He just ate a piece of me. He ate a piece of me. To practice combat? I don't have anything to combat. All right. God damn it. Where is this it? It's not like we made a bunch of progress. Three deaths in already. This is how bad I am at survival games, guys. Besides Pacific Drive. Oh, I'm hungry. I really need to eat something. All right. Can we light this up then? Can't start a fire without wood. Yeah. Can I do tall grass? Can I use that? Light it up. Do I have consumables? Cook. Uh, pre-cooked beans. They're pre-cooked. I'll just put them in there and see what happens. It doesn't do anything and the grass burned away in like five seconds. Okay, I'll just eat this then. I'm eating my beans. I'm eating my beans. New adaptation level. Okay. All right. All right. 
close the house door. Oh, I, did I not collect? I didn't collect everything in here. Full belly. Fuck yeah, dude. Mmm, beans. I mean, beans are protein, right? Adaptations? Section two, slightly increase the thirst pool. Thirst proof. Section three, slightly increase the energy pool. Oh yeah. All right. So it looks like as we get better at surviving, we level up and we get some perks. I'm good with that. How the fuck? Okay, I feel like I gotta go this way to retrieve the gear. I feel like this is what I should have did at first, and I didn't, and then I didn't know how to get back. And footprints next to it. Yeah, this is definitely what I was supposed to do. Good. I have to check it out. Yeah, we'll do that in a second. I need my fucking backpack first, Better bro. Be careful. There you are. Okay. All right. We're gonna. We're gonna fucking. We got this. Ah! I mean, that's a pretty big gap, dude, for like a real person to do. I got it. All right, got my inventory back. What is that sound? My walkie-talkie. We hear our walkie? I just have to follow the noise. Okay, lost and found quest, quest finish. In the footsteps of friends. We got to do that too at some point. Hold on though. I have all this it stuff. Sounds coming from below. I have a battery on my on my gash light. I got my gash light. How do I, I turn on? rock could be an anchor. It's my gash light F. It is just need to tie a rope around it this rock could be an anchor gotta tie a rope around it craft and attach a rope to the rock okay uh rope how do i do a rope grass rope i need more grass fiber can be crafted anywhere uh where's a rope rope a dope i need more grass all right, we gotta go. We gotta go collect grass. That almost didn't go well. Where's grass? Blackberry bush. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, we got that fiber. Wildflower, sure. Grass. Tall grass. Are there rocks here? This is another blackberry bush. No. Dude, dude, dude. Oh, hot springs. Oh, no. Oh, no. We don't want to be wet. Okay. I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot that this is realistic. Okay. Tall grass rope. Right? How do I craft? All right. We have a rope. Let's go back. A grass rope. I, I feel like I would not I'll freeze to death if I don't dry my clothes quickly. I don't know how to dry my crow. I'm not going to freeze to death. Am I? I'm going to free. I shouldn't have. Oh, okay. Hold on. We got to go back to the cabin and I got to, I got to dry my clothes. Otherwise I'm going to die. Otherwise I, I will die. So we're going to head back real quick. Yep. It looks like I'm being hurt. Where's the cabin? Down here? Oh, there's a little stream right there. Ooh, girl. Ooh, girl. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We have the rope. I shouldn't have walked in the water. I, that wasn't, you know, wasn't very smart survival-wise. Where's my drying line? It was here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, use? Use? My pants! My pants were so wet, dude. How long does it take them to dry? Oh my god, it's gonna take forever. You know what? Um, I can't go outside naked, even though I don't have any legs. Fuck. All right, let's see what we can craft while we're waiting on that. Ha ha! Got no clothes, man. I'm pretty ripped. Holy shit. Uh, bandages, leg stabilizer, tender. Dude, I could use all of this. Give me a torch, motherfuckers. Bench crafting. How do I make a crafting bench? Why do we call flashlights flashlights? Actually, now that you say that, I need to key bind. I don't know why it keeps doing that. A gash lat. A gash lat. My gash lat. Okay. So I can't really craft anything right now. 
I gotta gather more stuff, which makes sense. Slightly increase the health pool. I mean, I'll take it, dude. Status, cold, satisfied, well hydrated, well rested. My health, eh. Outdoor temperature is very cold. It's noon. My perks, oh, it's getting cold. buffs, shelter. I patch up those clothes. Yeah, dude, their clothes are on the drying line. I can't make them dry any faster, bro. Chill out, man. What else do we have in here? Looks like the train won't be needed for anything. So what should I use it for then? Am I carry? Do I have a carry weight? Oh yeah, 120. I'm nowhere near the carry weight, dude. Oh, fiber. Oh, small spear holder. Can I, can I wear a cowboy hat, dude? Oh, I want to wear the cowboy hat. Are my clothes dry? All right. Some of them are, uh, use, use, use the pants are almost. Then we'll be good to go. Dude, if I had the time to get ripped, I would get ripped. I don't have the time as a parent. I know that's a terrible excuse, but <clears throat> I would if I could. All right, my pants are done. Are my clothes on? Oh, I got experience for that. What's my next adaptation? Slightly increase the heat pool. Hell yeah, dude. All right. Build a loom. I don't have the ability to build a, a loom right now. I, I'm not doing the... <laughs> I'm not doing that quest yet. To, to follow in the bear's footsteps. Fuck that. I'm doing the rope one over here first. <laughs> I feel like that's a bad... That's a bad idea. Okay. I have a rope. How do I... Can I put it on my quick slots? Did I not? Did I, I crafted it, didn't I? Where's my rope? Tall grass. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Drag. What do I do here? Am I too cold right now? Craft and attach a rope to the rock. Yeah, I would love to, dude. What happens if I just jump? Fuck it. Okay, there we go. And is that to go down? Didn't I add a rope? I need nine ropes. Huh? Say what? Oh, dude, am I going to have to craft nine ropes? Really? Maybe I got to do the... That's, it says one out of nine. Yeah, my rope's gone, so it's like I put it there. I'm so confused. I have a bandage. I should use that. I'm assuming that heals me. Yeah, it does. Okay, good. What? I could eat, too. <laughs> Let's equip blackberries to our quick slot. Wild herb to our quick slot as well. That's so weird. Canteen to our quick slot. Huh. What? What's up, Jacob? What's up, Ash? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. I'm confused. It's like, do I really have to... I have to have nine rope? Seems a little ridiculous. Why are rocks just like falling down everywhere? All right, maybe we'll go back up and do the bear quest then. What's up, Wrecking Nomad? Welcome. What's up, Terra? Good to have you. Bigfoot? Bigfoot's pushing him down? Probably, dude. I want to be able to craft like a spear or something. Guess I got to unlock it. All right. Here's the parachute guy again. Hmm. 
I'm not going that way. There's wolves. We got to be on the lookout too for predators. I don't know how to hunt yet. What's in here? Is this the cave? Cashlight, please. I should not be in here, bro. <gasps> Battery? Lockpick? Leather scraps? <gasps> meaty, meaty Pete! Marco's beans in a cooking pot? <gasps> this place is a gold mine, dude. <gasps> you need a spear holder. I do have a spear holder. I crafted one. Uh, use? Catca string, wooden cup, moonshine, blue stick, leather pieces. Oh my god, I have a spear. How do I. Where's the spear? Sharpened soft wood stick. Okay, how do I. Four. Ah! Alright, we, we, we now have the ability to slightly defend ourselves. I mean, it's just a stick, but it's better than nothing, right? What is this? Moonshine, metal wire, metal scrap, fabric, dollar coin. Okay. Anything else in here? Oh, it was like a loop. And then this is the way back out. Good shit. Oh, did I find the spear holder? I didn't craft it. I thought I crafted it. Okay. Dude, I don't remember. Do you see? Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. What just happened? The game crashed. And there's a bug for you. <laughs> Alright, I sent the crash report. The game fucking crashed. You gotta be kidding me, dude. <laughs> what the fuck, man? I got wait we gotta I gotta do I gotta do all that over again. It saved in the cabin. What is that sound? Oh no, it's saved here. Okay. My walkie-talkie. Oh, I see I it just down have there. To follow the noise. The sounds coming from below. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we know where it's at. This rock it's down there. Anchor. Just yeah. need to tie a rope around it. All right. I can't craft a rope because I need more tall grass. So let's get the tall grass. Dude, that cave and the spear and everything I fucking got, it all went out the fucking window. Man. This is also something you guys don't get to see in edited videos, right? Everybody's always like, we want the unedited videos, man. We got to see all the stuff. It's like, no, you, all you're missing is me, like, assigning keybinds or being stuck for seven hours. Or, yeah games crashing or stuff like that you're not missing anything super crazy um oh dude give me grass what the fuck what just happened elder god what's up the game can't be this broken. What did I do to crash it again immediately? <laughs> this game, this game look, no, I like this game so far. Other than this, other than the crashing. Do we have a spare game? If, if it keeps happening, yeah, sound? I have other stuff I can play. Absolutely. My walkie talkie. All right. We know what we need to do. I just have to follow the noise. The sounds coming yeah, from yeah, below. Yeah, yeah, Dude, can you just say the voice because lines, this please? Rock could be an anchor. Because I'm scared. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. It's just gonna break need to again. Tie a rope around it. Yes. Okay. That's what I. That's what I wanted. 
I need to go back. I need to get grass. I'm gonna pick up my damn berries on the fucking way. All right. My wild, my willow herb. And if you crash again, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna stab you, game. I will stab you. All right. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? So I just noticed something. Hold on. Whenever I press Q, the game is cr is crashing. Whenever I press Q, I don't know why that is. When I I pressed Q for my like sense or whatever, and it and it and it crashes. So we're gonna test something. As soon as it loads back up here. What is that sound? All right, it worked that time. My walkie-talkie. All right, hold on. We're gonna let I this just play have to out. Follow the noise. The sounds coming from below. Q for quit. <laughs> I guess this rock could be an anchor. The suds of bitches. I just need to tie a rope around it. Okay, you know what? New approach. New approach. There's a bunch of grass over here. I just noticed. I really want to play this. I get to if crashes get to be too much, we will dip though. All right, I have enough to craft, I think. Yeah, I have plenty. I actually have four ropes now. All right, we need if we need five more ropes. All right, we're just gonna focus on getting grass. Try to do the walkie-talkie. I feel like the story mode this game wants you to go pretty linear. So we're just going to focus on getting grass. And we can't get any more here. Fuck! Oh, 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 well, hey, 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 I'll take some berries and don't mind if I do. Um, can I get back up if I go down this way? I can. So there's grass down here. Yep. Yeah. It is a bug. I just, just squash them. I hit... Yeah, fucking things. I hit send crash report both times. Too, I have... um, The devs emailed me a key, right? So... I will send them feedback. I'll be like, hey, fix your shit. There we go. Good news is, like I said, though, they uh, have done like four or five patches since the game released. Big ones, too. So, they are supporting the game. Branches? Alright, I need more grass. Do Wait, do I? No, I don't think I do. I needed five more rope. We have enough. I'm not going over there with that wolf. I'm going back over here to complete this quest, dude. Get my walkie-talkie. All right. No. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I thought there might be something. Oh, you know what I should do, though? Blueberry. Where's my wild berry herb? Where am I herb at? I'm using this. Look at our puffy parka arms. I like that. This game is beautiful. This is your reminder that I stream in 1440p, by the way. So if your device and internet support it, make sure you uh you do okay. that. Let's do another reckless thing. Let's do another reckless thing. All right, I see. I needed nine grass ropes, and th that's it's alchemy, dude. And then I made a I made a real rope out of it. You know. All right. Well, how did my walkie-talkie get down here? Hello, Mike. Is that you? Tell me where you are. Mike? Mike! Damn it! All right. Well, I don't think Mike's doing too well. But what if... Equip the walkie-talkie. I'll do that. New quest. Okay. God, this is going to take forever to get out of this goddamn hole! Who knew climbing a rope would take so long? 
I threw it there in a fit of ice-induced rage. Cold heat. <laughs> Bam, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Yeah, save if you can, Skilly, with the crashes. What? Uh, that's a good idea. I think we're going to go back to the cabin and save. Absolutely. Save often, it seems like. Brian, welcome. Good to have you. Thanks for joining. Hold on. I think the game is a little low. For you guys. You end up telling me if this ends up being too loud. I increased the game volume a little bit for you guys. You need to eat something. Uh, yeah, I have berries, dude. Here we go. I got blueberries, bro. I got lots of blueberries. All right, I got to equip the walkie-talkie. Um, where do I equip it? Do I just put it in a slot? Is that what they wanted? Uh, no. Which button was it? Search mode. Okay. All right. I don't want it. I want to go back to the cabin and save though. And we got to figure out how to get back. Man, I wish I could climb back up that way. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm. Damn it. I wish there, there's there got to be a way over here to get back, right? If I go around this way. Nope, I think unfortunately... Oh, damn it. All right. I think we have to do what I didn't want to do, which is go where the where the... Where they're at. Fuck. Am I hurt again? Can I craft a bandage? Hold on. Medical? What do I need? Medicinal herbs. Okay. Any alcohol. Leg stabilizer for rope. Okay. Alright. There's a wolf over here somewhere. Or there has been every time we've been here. I'm scared the game is going to crash on me. But we need to get back to the cabin. M for map. No, I don't have a map yet. Okay, that makes sense. This is the way back to the cabin, right? I hope so, dude. I hear something. Oh, oh. Yep, this is the way back to the cabin, but I have two wolves on my ass! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh no. Did I outrun them? <gasps> oh, I know how to get back, but there's 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 bad things. Fuck! Brian O'Neill became a channel member at the cadet level. Brian, you rock star. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. I believe you've been a channel member in the past too. So appreciate the long time support, dude. No, 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 no! No, no, you fuck! You fuck! I'm trying to save, okay, adrenaline mode. We're in adrenaline mode, so we have extra sprint. Go, 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 go! Oh my God, did I make it? Oh my God. Woo, woo. Okay. Okay. I just want to save my progress, dude. Can I open this yet? No, I shouldn't do anything. We don't know what's going to crash it. All right. Save, save, save. Is it saving? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's saved. Woo. All right. Let's take stock of what we have. I can make tender for the fire. I feel like I should do that. Um, hold on. Destruction, grass rope, tender, small torch. I would love to make a torch. We need tall grass. A torch would be lovely. Uh, carpentry station. 
large branch glue stick and rope chest basic campfire proper campfire platform campfire i need a carpentry station is what i need so we need sticks glue sticks glue sticks <laughs> and rope okay <laughs> i need a lot of tall grass is what i end up needing um how do i make glue sticks though like i don't think i even have the ability to do that right now i don't so how the fuck do you make glue sticks all right we'll figure it out i guess let's go back to use the walkie talkie to locate the signal we gotta do this i need to start collecting stuff though we need food all that good jazz. Hey, what's up, Jin? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Can I start a tall grass farm? Dude, I, I hope. So far, it seems like that's like my primary resource. It's really cold out. Mm, the cold is starting to affect my sanity. It Lovely. It's getting worse. I hope the guys are okay. All right. Last time I did that, that, uh, that, uh, there's bear footprints and then there's this. I need this though. We need all the tall grass that we could get. Signals getting stronger. Ooh, mushroom. I can get, I can not be cold why is my cold meter increasing but i'm literally standing in a fucking hot spring what is happening dude is that my cold meter increasing or decreasing i'm confused i'm gonna stand here until like that meter goes all the way up at the bottom left there we go comfortable temperature okay all right now that we're all toasty woasty Where do the footsteps go? Another mushroom, dude. Liberty cab mushroom? Ooh, what's this? Saw crystals? Don't fucking mind if I do, man. I could use that to make some good food. Oh, yeah, boy. Chaga mushroom. That's a big fucking mushroom. Times three. Holy shit. Just gonna loot everything over here. I can do that too, you fucks. Is this another chaga mushroom? That does not look like a mushroom. Oh, it's on the... It's on a, a dead tree branch. I get it. All right. Sometimes I'm not the smartest, guys. Leave me alone. What's this? Large branch. Tree. We need resources. Resources. Ooh, I got cranberries, dude. I'm gonna have some cranberry juice. We poop in the night, chat. We poop in the night. There ain't gonna be no constipation in this survival scenario. What's in here? Oh. <gasps> Uh, cigarettes <laughs> lock picks all right uh t to transfer all there we go anything else he went through this house then his footsteps keep going this way i'm confused And keep going that way. It feels like we're circling back around on ourselves. 10 out of 10 would poop again. <laughs> Where? Was there something on the side of the house? Okay. Why is my survival instinct? Am I using it too much? It keeps going away. Large stick. We need this for our carpentry station. There's a bridge. 
I don't like that, dude. The signal is way back there. All right, I think I'm gonna turn off the walkie-talkie because hey, we're Mike, Joel, following this guy. I'm coming there. Okay, I'm fatigued. Fuck. Fuck. Why can't I jump on this? Oh, I see. How did they make a boot a boot print in the wood? Yeah, why would I walk across that? Why would I walk across that? That wasn't smart, Skilly. Come on! Climb up! Oh! This place really wants me dead. Yeah, no shit. I'm fine! I just need to find a way out. It, was he over there or was that a hallucination again? Another hallucination? Yeah, that's what he's thinking. Okay. All right. Get inside the cellar. Oh, I got a torch. I got multiple torches. I got multiple torches. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Where are the torches? Torch. 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 Oh, I should probably put my canteen too. I'm not thirsty yet. Um, I am hungry. Do I have food? I got cranberries. Let's poop ourselves. Let's poop before we go in. We need to eat. It's getting dark time. I did survive. I know. All right. Keep eating. What else did I have in my inventory? <laughs> Cigarettes, modern day cigarette, nicotine, dopamine, nicotine craving. Okay. Interesting. I feel like I shouldn't use those. <laughs> I don't smoke in real life. I don't want to smoke in the game. How do I light? Yeah. Oh, did it put it out? No, it didn't. Okay. Hello. Hello. Unease. What is unease? Moderately increases trauma caused by being in the dark. Any light source is the treatment. Okay. Oh! <gasps> yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Fucking stone axe, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, where's it at? All right. I'm putting that on five because check this out. Oh yeah. And now I have unease procking over there. All right. Hold on. Uh, two for my torch. Light that. All right, no more unease. <gasps> could probably break it with some sort of tool. I could use the axe. Do I just press E? It won't budge. I could use the axe. That's that's what I that's what I'm doing, man. Uh oh. 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 Like the oh, it broke away. What? Okay. Hold on, though. What else is in here before we... <gasps> spear. 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 I need a spear holder. Can I crap? No, 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 no. Stop putting away the torch, you dumb fuck. Uh, can I make a spear holder? I need a spear holder. Spear holder. Spear holder. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Spear holder? Spear holder. God damn it. Large branch, glue stick. I don't know how to make fucking glue sticks. Son of a bitch. Software playing, blah, blah, blah. I think my spear holder is back at the house. So that means I can't take this spear. Oh, that's so sad. Uh, I need my torch again. Fuck. All right. It is what it is. I can't take it. We'll be back at some point. Why can't I get that lantern though? Rope! It's cigarettes! All right. And more, more food and shit. All right, through the doorway. <laughs> Check this out. Proceeds to show us an ax in pitch dark. I mean, I see it. Dollar coin? You know. 
I, I feel like I could hold a torch and an axe at the same time. All right, we made it out. In the footsteps of friends. All right, it wants us to go this way. Oh man, I feel like there's gonna be predators. Get inside the cellar, okay. Okay, I could do this. Oh! What's happening, dude? Shit. Uh. Whoa. Okay. There's a lot of shit in here, bro. A note. Uh, inventory. Where's the note? How do I read said note? Here we go. Read. Hastily written note. Skull, my boys have managed to get their hands on some of the good stuff. Rations could go straight to hell. They've stashed them in some boxes at the trolley repair station near Woodcutter's Hut. I've taken my cut. So did they. There should be about 20 cans left for you. But with the situation at the harbor getting worse, you need to hurry and collect before someone else finds them. Hope you're still alive. Okay. Is that me? I don't think he's talking to me. Ooh, that's a skull. That's a skull, dude. Oh, bunch of food. Good shit, dude. Bunch of stuff. Bottles. Leaky can. I don't know what we do with leaky cans, but I'll take it. I'm going to loot goblin everything. Bones? Probably craft something with that, right? Another toy train, dude. <gasps> Tobacco? I thought those were bullets for a second. I'm going to be honest. I was about to be so happy. Rusted key. I just got a bandage, which I badly need if you're looking at my health. Bandage, bandage, bandage. Where's the bandage? Right here. <laughs> what do you guys hear that noise? Is that the hot springs outside? You hear the bubbling? It's kind of unsettling, dude. It's very unsettling. Ooh. First lock pick. Okay, how does this work? Is it like lock picking in real life where you just gotta kinda yep, okay, yeah. You guess gotta, gotta tumble it. Alright. What's in here though? Wooden bowl, torch, meaty peats, fur hat, wetness protection, and cold protection. Hell yeah. Well we're gonna use that for sure. Okay. Uh, how do I make sure I have my hat on, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to use this. Yeah, look at me, dude. Yeah. Okay. Dude, I hear that thing. Oh, is that a spear holder? Oh, <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Okay, now I have spears. I am encumbered. I can fix that, dude. I can fix it. I'm going to eat stuff. 119 out of... I I am not. I'm not over encumbered. I'm just encumbered. Uh, can we eat? We're going to eat some beans. 415 grams. Protein. Am I still encumbered? Probably getting close. Oh, I'm almost full. All right, we won't do anything else. I'm going to move slower because I have so much shit. I'm, I'm jacking everything, bro. Okay. He might still be here. Use the walkie talkie to locate the source of the signal. Wow, dude, this the sky is beautiful. All right. 
Um, what can I craft? Rope, tender, fiber, alcohol soaked. I can actually do bandages. I'm going to do bandages, dude. So I have three bandages now. We'll do a leg stabilizer so that I have one. Tree bark. Ah, oh, dude. I can craft an axe now that I found one. So we'll craft an extra axe so that we have it. Fiber, small. I can craft torches now. I could do a campfire. I could do a bed. We might do that. We might do a bed down here and sleep until daytime. Can I not do that? Can I put a bed down here? Fuck. Fuck. Damn it. I wanted to put a bed down there. Oh, well, it's in my inventory. What else can I craft? Um, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hot water? Can be crafted at a fire source. Soft wood plank. When, um... Okay. I need a fire and stuff, but I would like to wait to get back to the cabin. What's the area that I'm supposed to use the walkie in? I feel like we've strayed pretty far from that. I also feel like we have so much stuff. I need to get back to the hut. Or the, the hunter's cabin or whatever the fuck you want to call it. <gasps> it's, it's a dead cow. And there's fields here. We got a sugar bee. What is this place? Five. Okay, my axe does have durability I see over there in the bottom right. I didn't notice that before. There we go. Just got to hit the lock. What is this? Nail box? Metal wire, lock picks, fabric, dry fox skin. I'll take it all. I am very close to being... I am over-encumbered. Massively. No, 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 no! No! No, I will not die! No, how do I fight you? No! Oh, it's getting colder. I should patch up those Can clothes. I pause? No, 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 there's no pause! There's no pause! too cold <laughs> we have rocks here okay all right <laughs> new plan new plan new plan new plan new plan new plan we got to survive the night basic campfire if i had more tender i can make more tender right yes all right what if we did a proper campfire soft log chunk how do we get a soft log chunk you know what? I, I think I know. I think I know. We, we have a motherfucking axe, dude. Chop down some goddamn trees. God, I suck at swinging this thing. 
This is this is insane. Oh, I got sap. I got the glue stick. Oh my god. I gotta start. I I'm approaching this like it's a story game. And it has a story, but I gotta start thinking survival, dude. Do I actually have to like okay. Soft wood log. There we go. Oh. Uh how do I drop this? Chop. G to chop. Hey, there we go. That's what we needed. All right, we're going to build a proper fucking campfire. Here we go. There we go. There's a bunch of sticks from where we chopped this tree down. We're going to get more uh chop. I like how you... instead of swinging your axe or hitting it with your axe, you just press a button and it turns it into this. That's a little silly. All right. Um, oh, I could save. I could save here. Okay. 11 minutes of fuel. Uh, I could cook my sugar beets. Okay. 14 seconds. If fuel is above a certain threshold, wolves will not attack you until provoked. The fire goes out during snowfall when it's uncovered. Cooking outside a shelter or cave may attract attention from animals. Okay. So it might have been a bad idea to roast the sugar beets. Is what I'm learning. Uh, put that one in there and roast that one. Okay. We're no longer cold. Can I use my bedroll? This is probably a bad idea. I had a bedroll in inventory, right? Did I not? Ooh, what was that noise? If not, I can make a bedroll again. Where's my bedroll, dude? Could be taking stuff from me. Need my bedroll. Okay. What? What just happened to my campfire? And why can't I get my beat? I'm gonna go to sleep anyway. Fuck it. I'm gonna wake up cold. All right. Uh, I don't know if this is a good idea to sleep. It says sleep. Oh, oh okay. I can pick how many hours. Oh, I'll like die though if I do that many hours. Let's do let's do this long. Let's do five hours until like midday ish, I guess. My teeth are chattering. I'm cold. Alright, and now I need another fire, and I don't know what happened to the first one. God damn it, dude. And now I need more tender. I'm fucking this game. What do I need? Tree bark? So I got to chop more trees down, right? Oh no, I left my fucking flashlight on that whole time! I just used up a ton of battery. How does one wake up dead? I mean, you know, you wake up in the afterlife, you know? You know what I mean? You know? Picking up what I'm putting down? Okay. I was like, I was like waiting for it to turn into this. Did I not get though? God, I am so over encumbered. I got to start doing stuff with this. I need to get back to that, to the house. I need to get back to the house. I'm supposed to build a loom. I need, oh, I'm starving to death. I'm starving to death. Oops. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> I... <laughs> My character over there was starving to death. I don't know if anybody noticed that meter. Fuck. All right. Um, the way back is around that way, right? I'm not going to make it though. Okay, the signal's this way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can I not jump up here? <clears throat> I thought you could jump up. Oh, it's because I'm over encumbered. Oh, shit. Oh, shite. Um... Is there something I want to drop? It's taking up most of my weight. Spoiled sugar beet. Okay, well, yeah, we'll definitely drop that. D to drop. Uh, leaky can. I, I feel like maybe I don't need the leaky cans. Uh, how's our weight? God, we're still 26 over. Frying pan. Not much you could do with a broken pan, so we'll get rid of... Wait. I, I only want to get rid of one frying pan? How do I do that? We gotta start making some choices here. Oh, that's an actual... I have a non-broken frying pan, so I don't, I don't need the broken ones, then. I don't need the broken ones. Dude, there's so much, though, that I don't want to get rid of. The wood. Wood is weighing me down. I'm going to drop the, the the nine. What else? We're at 137. All right. Can I jump up now? Okay, I can. Just needed to lose a little bit of weight. Yeah. Signal's getting stronger. I can't go. I can't go up that way. All right. Yep. Keep going this way. Damn it. All right. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like this. Okay. I see where it's leading. We got to watch out for wolves though. Chicken of the forest. What a name for a mushroom. All right. I don't think it's going to be in there. Although we never explored this again. We need this stuff. Ooh. We were in here, but then the game crashed, remember? After we were coming out. I'm over encumbered again. I could use a bandage. Restore my health. Cooking pot, definitely. New battery. Instinct mode Q. Okay, hold on. I need... Hey, what's up, Misty? Welcome, Kilroy. Welcome. Good to have you. Reaper, welcome. Are you able to build your capac capacity tolerance? I don't know. We have an adaptation system. Like, the more we survive and the more stuff we do. Like, see, my health just increased right there. My cold, my heat pool increased. So, I'm assuming one of the perks would be carry more. Maybe get a bigger backpack. I don't know. Better loot from animals. Reduce the chance of detection by prey. I didn't realize I hadn't hopped over there in a minute. All right. I need to eat. Um, and you know what? We have a ton, so I'm just going to eat all the way up. Okay. Yeah. Leather strips. There's some stuff down here, right? And that's the way back out. Okay. 
how do i recharge my like my flashlight battery says it's dead but the flashlight still works <laughs> so i have batteries in my inventory like how do i use it oh you can apply it to the walkie talk okay let's apply it to the flashlight there we go okay um <clears throat> cooking pot i definitely want to keep do i need the toy trains looks like this old toy train won't be needed for anything well i'm getting rid of it fuck that uh nail box yeah 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 yeah, yeah. i think i gotta keep everything else all right Come on! Dude, why can't I? Oh, it's because I mean, yeah, that's right. Hold on, hold on. I got, damn it. I can't jump when I'm in cupboard. Tobacco can be open to take out cigarettes. Nah. I don't want tobacco. I don't want it. Can I jump yet? No, it says I'm even more over encumbered. Wire, leaky, drop. Um, I don't need three broken kettles. I just need one. Where's all the wood? What's taking up all of my fucking inventory weight? See sticks, dry deer skin. I don't have the big soft logs anymore. Oh, this is taking a lot. Uh, large tree branch. All right, well, let's drop those. We have 20 branches. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What else? I don't want to get rid of any of this. I feel like the animal bones, nails. I feel like I need all of this. Flint, leather. Cooking pot? Am I am I unencumbered enough to jump? I'm not. I'm not. I can't get out of here unless I can fucking jump. All right, we're gonna drop this then. All right, there we go. Thank you. Am I about to get sick? What does that meter over in the left above the encumbered mean? Um, 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 I need a spear. I need a spear. Wait, actually, let's put it here. Ah! Ah! Die! Die! Why can't I stab you anymore? I need a knife to skin him. God damn it. I killed a wolf. Okay. I am facing the hoarder's dilemma. Yeah, for sure. Dude, I can't, I can't take any more stuff. I got to get back to camp. Oh my God. The signal was in here. This is bad. Oh, this is bad. What is dread? Presence of predators nearby? Getting away from the predator. Okay. Increases my trauma. Um, hi guys. Bye guys. Oh! <gasps> <laughs> I'm definitely dead if they wake up. If they wake up, I am so dead. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna be eaten by 17 wolves, dude, in this cave. Good puppies. Good puppies. Bye, puppies. Oh. 
the signal went another way <gasps> I don't like the sound of that bro what the fuck what is this more tobacco Dude, okay, yeah, leaky can. I'm not taking nail box, man. I'm over encumbered again. I can't jump. Ah, oh, dude. I should have went back to camp. Why is the signal getting weaker? It's getting weaker here. I need to go back. I still hear something. I don't like this, dude. What's up, support? Jonathan, welcome to the stream, both of you. Thanks for joining. Leather strips. Rope. <gasps> Why did I do that? What if I want to go back up? I didn't check that other way. There's a wolf. There's a wolf. There's a wolf. What do I do? Ah, back! Back, you beast! Taking all of these, dude. Not today. I have fire. Me, man. Me make fire. Ooh, ooh. Okay. You know what? We're already over encumbered. Let's just fucking let's make ourselves the slowest, fattest fucking carry everything in the world beast. I'm not going to be able to climb. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Where did the wolf go? He went in there, maybe? Oh, is this where that goes? It just comes back around here. Adnir, what's up? I hope you're doing good. I think you've been here for a bit. I never said hi, though. Sorry. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Or maybe I did. I forgot. I don't know. There's so much crap. I can't move. <laughs> I can't move. I'm so encumbered. <laughs> I'm so encumbered. I can't move. All right, listen, we got to get we got to get rid of some wood and stuff. I don't know. I'm, I'm so over encumbered. And the game literally told me you're not allowed to walk anymore. Um, <laughs> God damn it. Uh, all right. Animal bones. I got I got I got a large branches. That's a regular branch. That's nine. Fuck. I might have to just start getting rid of some of the wood. I'm getting tired. Yeah, wait, you know what? Uh, can I craft? I might have to craft some stuff, too. Campfire? Oh, I need rocks, dude. Oh, this is no good. How do I not have the rocks for this? Rocks and tender? Oh, but I can make... I can make... I can make... I can blah, 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 blah. Crafting. 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 Tender. Tree bark. I only have one tree bark. I can't make tender. God damn it. All right. At least I can move. Okay. I got to get down to weight those so that I could climb that area over there. Oh, this, is, uh, this is hard. You know what? I'm going to drop the 20 soft log chunks. Uh, uh, trees are a dime a dozen. Right? Um, maybe get rid of some animal bones, perhaps? Maybe? Everything else I feel like I need. I need to get back to the, the fucking cabin. Uh, large tree branch, tree branch, nine and seven. You know what? Let's drop the regular branches. There we go. All right. I should be allowed to climb this over here now. I need to put my spear, a spear back on six though. Yeah, we can actually kind of run now too.
I don't like what I'm hearing. Oh, hey! Is it a hallucination or are you real? I fouled you. Right? Is this... Mike! Wolf aftermath? Oh, my God. Why is he running away from me? Because he's not real, right? He's not real. He never was real. I'm over encumbered again. Uh, get rid of cigarettes. I'm not smoking. I'm going to stand by that. Uh, right here. I guess you could probably offer for your health, but helps ease the mind. All right, maybe I keep maybe I keep the cigarettes for now. They might come in handy with the sanity, as much as I don't like that. Um, I don't want to drop anything. I can't, dude. The loot goblin in me it doesn't allow. You know what? Getting rid of our sticks. Fuck. How am I still over encumbered? Game, I don't like you. Leave me alone. Let me carry my shit, man. Uh, uh, none of this looks heavy. Too many torches, but I need the torches. It's making you want to play the long dark. The long dark is on my backlog list to play at some point for sure. My nail box is Chaga mushroom is 1.5 moonshine. Chicken dust. Guys, I don't any any ideas, chat. Somebody make this fucking decision for me. This is actually better. My other hat is better. Why would I want that? Oh, the cold protection is better on that. That's why I would want that. I'm gonna drop bones. Okay. I think we're fine now. We'll light a torch. Mike! Where are you? Oh no, I'm wet. This is pointless. We run around in circles like this. We never find each other. That's true. You no. Know, campfire. Huge one. That should get their attention. Alright, smoke signal. Find a suitable place for a bonfire. Alright. I'll freeze to death if I don't dry my clothes quickly. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I will a torch do that? Will a torch do that? I hope so. First things first. I need to get back to fucking. Need to get back to the, the fucking cabin. I don't know how to do that. If we can find the hot springs, I know my way back from the hot springs. But otherwise, I don't know. I do need to build a campfire. What do I need for that? Branches, maybe? I gotta do I gotta I gotta dry I gotta dry off. Platform campfire, basic, branches, yep, which I dropped all my branches back there. Tree bark. Alright, that's fine. We could do this. There we go. We got the tree bark. Actually we need tender, but tree bark is used for tender. And my first axe. Shot shit the bed. I think I hear a moose. Come on, dude. Ow! Did that hurt me? Okay. No! 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 Bad puppy! Bad. What's happening? What's happening? My stick fuck broke? I gotta run. I gotta run. I needed that wood! You son of a bitch! Alright, I found the hot springs. Uh, the cabin is somewhere back over here. That thing better not be behind me. It better not be behind me. I'm gonna set in here and not be cold. Hold on. <laughs> Before I die. I'm almost exhausted too. Oh my god. I smell bad? Is that what that smell meter is over there? I don't understand. Yeah, you're right. I should drop the cigarettes. You're right. 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 I am dropping the cigarettes. I need to get back and store a lot of this stuff because we can't use it right now. Yeah, I think I'm getting stanky. 
I think I got that stanky leg. Oh, can I drink this? Can I drink this? Is it too warm? I think the cabin is this way. If we can get to the cabin, oh, really? all will be good. No, 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 no. I, I know, bro. I know, I know, I know. Yes! Oh my God, and we could save and we have all this leather. We have all this stuff. We could dry our clothes. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, 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 yes. Woo! We made it. All right. Uh, you need to dry. You need to dry. You need to dry. Thank you. Um, what do, what can we use this fuel? We have a couple tree branches. Sure could use a blanket right now. Uh, tender. Right? I need to make more tender. Hold on. All right. Um, I'm just going to put all this over as fuel. Can be used for medicinal and then tall grass fuel fire. All right. What happens if I cook these? Cooks into warmed Marco's beans plus 30. All right. Are we warm in here though? No, we're still getting cold. So light this up. Okay. We should be good. How do I extinguish my torch? Just put it away, bring out something else, I assume. I need to fill my canteen somewhere. There's no water in it. Fuck. All right. Uh, oh, my clothes are better. My clothes are better. We're good. Much better. Uh, all right. How do I craft a storage box? Soaked, finished. Okay. Storage box, storage box. Nope, no. I need a fire source. Okay. I need a... There's the loom. I need four branches. Okay, I could do that at some point. Here, real quick. Alright, I gotta go chop wood. I gotta go chop wood. Okay. Uh, I want to craft I need rocks and branch and a branch for that. Okay, so I gotta go get branches outside No biggie, but first save and then rest in case it crashes when we rest Because our rest meter is so far down More water how many hours should I rest? I'm going to rest eight hours. I'll rest the full eight. All right, we are starving. Oh, I left my fire on. Fuck. Skilly, you, you silly willy. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I need to eat. Eat those beans, baby. No longer dying. Eat more beans, baby. All right. Eat one more. All right, we need wood. I'm cold, I know, but I need wood. I need trees. I need lots of wood. We need to craft a storage box and put away some of our stuff that's over encumbering us. I cannot swing the axe. I can't swing the axe. Is it because I'm over encumbered? Huh. Uh, well, let's just drop a bunch of stuff then. Right? Like, if I drop this in here, will it stay here? Like, my cooking pot? Okay, I think so. So, let's just start dropping stuff. Uh... Oh, I could store... I could store food in here. 
right? Oh, I can only do one at a time. My man, man. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else, chat? I, I'm worried that if I put too much... Wait, I'm down to 139. I should be able to swing the axe now. Why can't I swing the axe? What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? We're going to drop just everything now snow mountain garlic fuck it drop the nail box we're gonna get down all of that better stay i want all of that 24 what else do we need to drop dry fox skin metal scrap fuck it dry wolf skin leather pieces all right, well, we're down to 106. Am I too hurt to swing the axe, maybe? Bandage up? Seriously, I, ca I can't, I can't swing the axe. Is it a glitch? All right, you know what? Hold on. Why can't I? I'm about to lose it. I'm about to lose it. Why can't I use my goddamn axe? Why can't I use it? Axe, which can be utilized to cut down trees. Yeah, I would. I would love to. Do I need a fire? I don't have any wood. You know what? Why is it? Dude, this game? It's gonna make me lose my goddamn mind. No stamina? Was that really why? Why do I have no stamina, though? My axe has durability. Look at the durability on the bottom right. It has durability. Now I can swing it. I don't know what that was about. I don't know what that was about. I think the no stamina thing, I think you might have been right, but how did I miss that? Okay. And then I need to heal. Where's my stamina bar? Am I just dumb? Why do I I don't see a stamina bar right now, so am I am I dumb? Oh, I see it down there. No, it wasn't a bug. I was out of stamina. I see the stamina bar now. Wouldn't stamina recover over time, though? I'm a confused, Skilly. I mean, I wasn't tired. I had just slept in the bed, right? All right, we got to become over encumbered again. We also need to go hunting at some point, guys. This game might be too hardcore for me. <laughs> this game might be way too hardcore for Skilly. 
I know how it just poofs into pieces is pretty funny. All right. There we go. All right, light that up so I'm not cold. All right, let's cook a wild carrot. And let's cook all of this. Okay. All right, we're not cold anymore. We're overweight. What do we need to craft the fucking box? All right, I need to cut down a couple more trees. I want to get rid of my cold. I want to be well. Take, take, take. Roasted wild carrot. Hell yeah, dude. What does 8% mean? It is very in-depth. Yeah, closing the door is probably... Wait, do I have a box over here the whole time? <laughs> I don't know what that nose over there is. We got to figure it out. I had a box here the whole time. All right. <clears throat> God and damn. Dude, goddamn. All right. Uh, we can put away a lot of stuff, right? Uh, da, 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 snow mountain garlic fever. There's a rusted key. We don't know what that goes to. Moonshine spirit. Uh, yeah, another, yeah. You know, I'm keeping my lock picks on me. Leg stabilizer I might need. Large branch bandage I would need. Hastily written note we can put over there. Can I not drag it over here? Oh man, I don't want to keep that. It fucking, it has weight. Fishing hook. We'll keep that. Keep our money over there. We have multiple cooking pots. Keep my batteries on me. Hey, we're down to 43 weight wise. Okay. So we just need to go get more wood. Warmed? What happens if it gets all the way? Okay. All right, stop that. We don't want to use all of our fuel. We need more trees. I need to... Um... I need a bunch of wood to make like the benches and the loom and all that stuff. Alexis, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Ooh, I'm driving you nuts. Good. Welcome to the insanity. If you are here to see me do good at games, you're in the wrong place. You must not watch often. We, we go, we get on the struggle bus and we ride it hard. All right. Daniel, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Oh, I'm glad. Uh, wait. Doors left open. It's colder. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Do, I don't need to dry anything off. We should, we should, we should light this up because it's cold in here. And then I think I can make, I can make a loom now or I should be able to. Right? Where was that at? It was over here. Loom. I need rope. I can make rope though. Right? La, 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 la. Where's rope? Tall grass rope. But what about regular rope? I have regular rope, I think. Don't I? I do. Alright. So just put that over there. Now I should be able to craft it. Drying line. Nope, we don't need that. Loom! Did I not craft it? What the fuck? Did that just use all my stuff and glitch out? Because if it did, I'm going to be fucking pissed. N no, it didn't. 
Okay, here we go. We're gonna put it right here. All set. Use a loom, create sewn pants. You can use your current clothes as raw material. Okay. Why would I want to make sewn pants? Bone needle. I need cloth patch. Sewn winter hats. Sewn winter. Are, are they going to be better? I guess they're going to be better, right? I'm going to do a bone needle. Uh, cloth patch. I need thread. So I need to do a bunch of thread. And then as much cloth patches as I can. Wants me to do sewn pants. I need more cloth patch, so I need more thread. To make thread, we need fiber. I think I have a bunch of fiber. Do, 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 do. Fiber, 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 fiber. I don't have fiber. Can I craft fiber? From tall grass, I absolutely can. So we need tall grass. All right, am I warm? I'm warm. All my needs are taken care of, so let's go get some tall grass real quick. I have to unequip my clothes for the raw material. Tall grass? Tall grass? I didn't realize there was like uh Oh, I got a potato, dude! I could be like the Martian and grow potatoes with my own poo. I need grass. Nope. Nope. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. I don't have a spear. And the axe doesn't seem to work too well on you. I don't know where he went. I need tall grass. Hey, my sanity's not doing too well. I need tall grass to make fiber. I hear like... I hear that animal sounds like it's dying constantly. I don't know if that's what they sound like in real life. Hell's Judgment, what's up? Welcome to the stream. <clears throat> what's a good build for a gaming PC? Oh God, dude, we could spend hours talking about that. It depends. Uh, listen, there's a lot of factors. Um, it depends a lot on your budget too. I hate to boil it down to money, but it just depends. Like, I think it's important to determine what your budget is and then build the best possible PC for that budget, right? So it depends on what your budget is. But I mean, if you're asking like absolute best, I think AMD right now with the 5950X or the 7950X CPU um, <clears throat> tends to handle gaming better than Intel CPUs. Intel would be good for like, if you're doing a lot of like work tasks, like rendering or creative stuff. So I would go in, I would go AMD for CPU. For graphics card, I would go Nvidia. AMD's graphics cards are not exactly up to par with Nvidia's. The only problem is um, Nvidia's graphics cards are stupid expensive, but just depends on what your budget is, man. Use PC part picker. Look up review. Like, you, also, too, a great thing you could do is type into um, YouTube. Fuck, dude. I just wanted that grass, you fucking asshole. Uh, a good thing you can do is type into YouTube whatever your budget is. Like, let's say it's a thousand or five hundred or whatever. Just type in five hundred dollar PC build, thousand dollar PC build, whatever, and just watch a few different videos with those builds. Make sure they're kind of current, you know, like within the last year. And uh, you will you can get some ideas that way, too. <clears throat> What's up, D's Nuts? Welcome. Good to have you. Thanks for joining. 4000 is your budget, maybe five. Well, dude, God damn, you have a huge budget, so you shouldn't have any problem. So, yeah, I would say 7950X from AMD and then go with a 4080 or 4090 graphics card. And from there... Just look for like a motherboard that can handle both of those um, and, you know, has the features that you want, whether that be like Wi-Fi, etc. And then do a couple SSDs. Go for M.2 SSDs and you should be good. I need grass. Uh, 
I mean, if you want to check out my build specifically, um, it's posted in the Discord and on the community tab in my channel, so you could do that. I gotta close the door. All right, I should have enough to craft a bunch of fiber. Yeah, that should be more than enough. And then I got to unequip my stuff to make this uh, thread. We got to make a bunch of thread. Okay. And then um, we need to make a bunch of cloth patches. We need four. What do I need? Bone needles? Fuck. Um, five. Okay. So we need five four, nine, and then 11, 13. We're not going to be able to get 13. We need more bone needles. I don't think I have more bone. Do I? We're going to have to go hunting. We're going to have to go hunting. Okay. Uh, but I can, so if I take my clothes off, if I unequip, how do I unequip? We don't need to make the hat. All right. I'm now a necky skilly. So it wants me to do pants. Sure, bud. I'll do pants. Me. I can sew. All right. Oh, Sarah would be proud. Um, I already have. Is the hat better than my current hat? I could do the winter gloves. I'll do the winter gloves too. There we go. I could do the hat, but then that gets rid of... I wish I could see the stat. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. And then we just need the jacket, but we need more bones. Okay. All right. First off, what have we unlocked adaptation-wise? Insufficient level? There we go. More stamina. I'll fucking take it. Increases the range of my instinct. Increase the hunger pool. Okay. All right. All right. What about these clothes are better? Where's my clothes? Cold protection and wetness protection and armor are up. Okay. Oh yeah, dude. Look at me. I'm looking like a, I'm looking like a man now. I didn't craft boots. Okay. We're good there. What clothes can I store? So now I have to carry them. My hat. Wait. Does this hat? That hat's worse. Okay. Okay. So store that hat. Oh, this is spoiled. So we're just going to drop it. It won't drop. I'll vomit if I eat it. God damn it. All right. So now we need rot. We need to build that bonfire. Okay. Crafting wise though, what else do I need to go after? We need rocks because I need to be able to make more axes. So I need rocks really bad. Carpentry station. I need large branches, glue sticks, which I don't know how to. Do we know how to craft glue sticks? Hold on. I thought we unlocked the ability to craft glue sticks. Did we not? Drying line, loom. Carpentry station, probably. Oh, we could craft another chest. What is that? So I'm going to do that, actually. Oh, I could use some sleep. How do I rotate this? All right. We have a chest built. I got to rest here in a sec. I thought we could make glue sticks. Can we not? Am I just crazy, chat? I thought we unlocked the ability to make glue sticks. Glue stick, we did. We need charcoal, sap, fresh water, and branches. Okay, so we have charcoal from the fire, 
fresh water, we could go to the hot springs. Okay. Um. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll put more of you over there. All right, I'm actually going to go to sleep. That means we got to stop this. I'm going to save before I do. And then we're going to go to sleep. <clears throat> Long Dark is a hard game too. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to spend four or five grand on a PC for it to be good. But I mean, if you got it and that's what you want and that's what you want to do, go for it. I mean, it's no problem either way. If you got that kind of scratch and you want to spend it on a PC, that's awesome. Do it, man. You could challenge yourself to recover from adaptation disorder presented as a side quest. There's no time limit to complete it, but one can only be active at a time. Slightly decrease the health pool. I want to do a recovery challenge. Take 5,000 steps and I'll recover. Okay, that's, I mean, that shouldn't, sure could use shouldn't be hard. Right shouldn't be hard at all. All right, we have to eat and we need water. A uh, wild potato. I'll cook a wild potato, dude. We're going to eat our burned meaty pie. Oh, shit. I burned one. Fuck it. We'll eat it. I really need water. Eat roasted potato. Take, take. One more can of food, right? Warmed Marcos beans. All right. We found a bunch of bottles. Or I thought we did, or maybe that was a time when the game crashed. Looks like it was the time when the game crashed. Or maybe they're over here. Hold on. Because I could get a bunch of water. We did find a bunch of bottles. So I'm wondering if I can't fill these up with water along with my canteen. It's completely useless. Man, why can't I fill up bottles? All right, we'll just leave you over there then, you son of a bitch. Okay, well, we need water from the canteen. I'm getting thirsty, too. So we have to go get water. Can I get water from here? If I bring out my canteen? Yeah, I know there's no water. I would, I would love to fill it up. I was going to say, how come it's not counting my steps? Water, 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 water. Hold E to wash. I'm going to not be stinky. I must undress to wash. I got to get rid of my clothes to wash myself. Oh, no. I left the cabin open. All right. Hold on. Shouldn't have did that. Shouldn't have did that. How do I? There we go. All right. Canteen's full of cold water. We'll have to warm it up. I shouldn't have left the cabin open. The temperature's dropping in the cabin. And I also left the fire on. Like a big dum dum. Like a big dum dum. Can I warm up my water? Can't. All right. We should have left that here. My clothes are wet. So here, here's what we're going to do. This is going to be bad, guys. This is going to be bad. All right, we got to go bathe ourselves because we're stinky. A little bit stinky, and I don't know what that does. We're going to freeze to death out here. All right, hold the wash. Our stench, the animals could probably smell us. That's probably what it is. I'm going to freeze to death, though, doing this. God, dude, you got to get down. You got to get, like, the, you got to get the gooch area. You got to get everything, man. All right, I think I'm good. Now let's run back inside before we die. <laughs> and now hopefully our clothes are dry. Mostly dry. Light this up. Get warm. Hey, I got rid of all of my negative procking status effects over there, guys. That's a win, right? 
That's a win. It is totally a stinko meter. It is. What's up, Drac Ice? What's up, Freaky Sky? Mooney Tooney, welcome. Good to have all you guys. PVT York, good to have you. Workman, good to see you. Liliana, thanks. Appreciate everybody being here. All right. Close, close, close are done. Do I need to re-equip? Nope, they are re-equipped, so we are good. All right. I am going to stop this for now. Um, I wonder how we warm up this cold water. All right, what was I trying to do now? I wanted to make a carpentry station. We need large branches, glue sticks, and rope. And I thought we could make glue sticks, but I guess we can't. Might be able to make them at a proper campfire. So we, we, we're going to need to, we need, we need rocks is we need rocks and sticks, rocks and sticks. All right. We need to find a good place for rocks and sticks. I think I'll chop this tree down to get some more sticks and stuff. Hey, what's up, Chris? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Use the snow. Scrub your skin until it's pink. That's an injury. I never thought about using snow to clean yourself. But that's a really good fucking point. That's a really good point. I guess snow is, is, it's water, essentially, right? And you could use it to clean yourself. Man, this is why I would die in real life in a survival situation like this. I would die so fast. I, I, I just, yeah. I just don't have it in me. I think the ADHD <laughs> and everything, I would just, I, would, I wouldn't think of simple things like that because my brain would be thinking about everything else. I'd be sitting there, I'd be like, what happens when you, what, what happened? What about the afterlife? What happens when you die, man? I'd be thinking about all the wrong questions instead of like, gosh, we got to do these, you know, 30 things to try to make it. I need rocks, brother. I see a, a ranger station up here or a lookout. I also see a cart here. Is there anything in this? I really need a carpentry station so that I can fucking... Can I climb up this? No, no, no. I really need a carpentry station so that I can make spears. <clears throat> ADHD actually helps in a survival situation. It's been proven. You could switch focus between threats easily. Interesting. I didn't think about it like that. I don't know. I just feel, I just, I just have this feeling that I would not do too well. First off, unless it's to play with my kids or spend time with my kids or walk my dog now. I walk my dog outside a lot. So I guess I go outside a lot more, but um, I avoid outside at all costs. We've evolved as a civilization, I feel like, to have shelter and indoors and everything that I like is indoors, like video games um, and stuff, you know? And it's either too hot or too cold outside most of the time. I will say, I do really enjoy like a really nice day. That's like the perfect temperature, you know? If it's somewhere between like 60 and like 75 degrees, wow, chef's kiss. I'm about it. Let's go outside. Let's have some fun. Let's cook out, grill out. If it starts to get chilly or too hot, fuck that, dude. Get inside. What are we doing? All right, let's go up. Let's see what's here. Oh, that's the wrong way, Skelly. Oh. Yeah, I'd die outside. No offense, Skelly. I'm not taking any offense. I absolutely, that's what I just said. I'd die outside. For sure, dude. I'd be dead. All right. Let's go check out this bonfire thing that we're supposed to build over here. Maybe we can put the resources in. Continue the main story. I see. Oh, is that a rabbit? It is. Guys, let's try to get 
the rabbit with the axe. I don't have a spear to throw it. Did that bunny just fucking disappear, bro? Did you? Oh. Oh, no. Did that deer see me? Did that bunny just... Did you guys see that? That bunny just, like, warped out of space and reality. Did you guys see that? So, Skilly wants to be a hermit. Dude, if I could be a hermit... Listen, I love my family. Good enough. And uh, I, I would like to have my family. But if I could, like, live away from society, but not... <clears throat> but also, like, be able to participate in it when I wanted to. Like, I still need a McDonald's cheeseburger every now and then, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? You're picking up what I'm putting down? Um, then, yeah, absolutely. Or, you know, I still need to... I still would like to, like, go out to a store every now and then, you know? Shit like that. There's a grave over here. Just make sure someone who's an Eagle Scout is with me. I'd be good. Yeah, they would probably be pretty helpful. I'll agree with that. Okay. Just says rip. So the graves are part of the negative things that you can get, right? From having too much trauma. <gasps> There's a little camp. Yo. I will take all of this stuff. There's a note. November 22nd, 1981. Rabbit. Finally, one of the traps worked. The one with the biggest, juiciest carry to as bait. I knew those bastards wouldn't be able to hold back. Open the trap and there was a nice plump rabbit. The stew was the most delicious thing I had ever eaten. I bet so, dude, if you're starving. I bet it was fucking great. What is this? Just a tree. Rocks? I need rocks. Okay, good. More rocks. <clears throat> More tall grass. All right, we're just working on getting all the resources. Uh, for the bonfire here. Ooh, food. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, rabbit! 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 Die! Die! I hit it! Damn it! I think I actually need like I need a spear. I don't think you're I don't think the axe is meant to be used. Although in real life, it could totally be used, right? Alright, I'm going up here just to get away from the fucking The Wolf Wolf. The Wolf Muscuff. What did I hit that now my meters show a percentage? I don't know what I hit it. I hit it. I hit it. It did. I don't know what I hit to do that. Was it R? Oh, oh. If you hit R, it gives you percentages and shit. There's math. I didn't know this game had math. Um, I was told there would be no math. If anybody okay. knows what the fuck I am referencing with that quote. I'll do it one more time. Uh, I was told there would be no math. If anybody knows that reference, you're a legend. So, do I need five? I need tender, right? What do I need? Nice. Oh, okay, I do. I need tender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> then math will be used against you. That yeah, that's uh, that's uh, I'm quoting something. Oh, oh. Uh, kind of old something. Okay. What's next? Oh, we're almost there. I still need three more tender. Two more soft logs. We have all the rocks. Okay. I'm going to take a drink from my canteen. And I'm going to chop this tree down. I need a stronger axe for You this. got the reference, Josh D? Okay, good. I need a stronger axe. Oh, I need axe a stronger axe. Okay, I need a smaller tree. 
<laughs> I don't know that anybody's gonna get the reference because it's a really old one. It's an SNL skit, um, and they're doing like almost like a Jeopardy style game, and uh, it's uh, I believe it's Will Ferrell, and uh, it's a really old skit though, and um, <laughs> he gets uh, he gets a math question and he just takes a long pause. He looks at the camera and he goes, uh, I was told there would be no math. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nico. Yep. Welcome, Nico, by the way. You've probably been here for a bit, but good to have you. Actually, I think the exact quote is, uh, I was told there would be no math, Alex. Because, you know, Alex Trebek. But anyway. That, that skit's probably like between 10 and 15 years old at this point. That's a really obscure reference and quote. I don't know why you had it, you had to be there. Okay, it, it, it was it was funny. I don't watch SNL that much either. So. <laughs> All right. My axe broke. Fuck, I don't think I could craft another one. Oh, I need rope. Um, how do I make rope again? Do I have rope back at the cabin? I might have some rope back at the cabin. Rope? Rope-a-dope? 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 Where's rope? How do I make rope? Oh, I can make glue stick with charcoal. That's right. Bench crafting. In order for the items, you need a crafting bench. How? Where? Where do I get a crafting bench, bro? Okay, that's tall grass rope, but I need, like, regular rope. Can I make it now? I can. Tall grass rope worked. Good shit. All right, I was cutting this down. Because I needed more tree bark to make more tender, right? Celebrity Jeopardy was the best, but Suck at Trebek will always be the greatest. Yeah, Suck at Trebek is a way better line. I will, agree, I will give you that. But since I hate math so much, the math one just kind of, you know, just kind of resonates with me. Because math makes my brain hurt. All right. I think we should be able to go over here, do the bonfire, which continues the main story. Then we'll go back to the cabin and take stock of where we're at and what we need next. We needed rocks. And we... Dude. All right, we're just going to hide from there are fireflies. Ooh. That's so pretty. My god, this is gorgeous. Oh, I need to craft the fucking tender. God damn it, dude. I still need two tender. All right, hold on. Need more how to make tender out of I need more tall grass. Oh, I can make tender out of this. Here we go. There we go. Can I save here? It won't let me save. I think that might be a keybind issue. Hold on. Do I have I have that as delete we want that to be mouse function middle mouse button middle mouse button Where is it at blah, 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 blah. middle mouse button middle mouse button? What is middle mouse button? Uh, left click right click scroll click I think is middle mouse button. Okay Let's try that again there we go. It's saved that time. All right, let's light it up. Woo! This is going to be a bad idea. Ultimately, like every predator and their mom is going to come over here. That wolf is over there. 
you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna eat real quick. And then we're gonna drink some water from the canteen. What? Did I not drink? Wait for contact. Oh, okay, so leave it burning. Oh, okay. I just gotta go back to the cabin now, then. Dude, the fireflies are beautiful. Alright, let's head back to the cabin, rest up. Oh, dude, there's a bunny. I need spears. So fucking bad, dude. Like, so, so bad. Oh, I can finally pick these up. Now I can get all this. Maybe. Kind of. What is that? This is not the cabin, but this is a house. A house that's not a house anymore. Wait. Thread. Battery. Food. Nails tanning solution. What? I can get my tan on out here. I could self tan. Fur hat. We already have fur stuff, but that's fine. I'll take all that. All right. I think that's it here. Oh, no. I'm over encumbered. All right. Yeah, we definitely got to get back to that. Why is there a cage over there? There's some sort of cage there. That's weird. All right. I got to get back to the fucking place. You're, I'm, you're back and I'm still live? Yes, of course. 10 to 2 every Thursday and Tuesday. Minimum 10 to 2. Unless something changes. I do need these rocks. I think we should be able to make it back. I need a torch. Otherwise, I'm going to have that, uh, I'm going to have that issue. All right, there we go. The eerie darkness thing, you know? Because it's night out. All right, there's the stand. Where's my fucking cabin again? I think it's this way. Yeah, I think it's this way. I need tall grass. I'm not going to be able to walk soon. <laughs> I'm doing the thing where I'm loo gobbling everything. All right. Yeah, yeah, it's back down this way. We came a ways up here. Forgotten one. What's up? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. What's up, Hannah? Welcome. Good to have you. Yeah, the fire looked great back there. My torch fire looks good, too. <clears throat> Snow Mountain garlic. What? Man, too bad I don't have anything to kill you. I don't want the darkness to set back in. Ah, oh, the cabin's down there. We made it. Is the wind blowing it out? We're just gonna walk through this. We can... Oh, or is it is it snowing or raining? Why does the torch keep going? It's just windy. The torch keeps going out really quickly. I don't like this. What's up, Thomas? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Uh, I did not build the cabin. It was here, so it's I. I don't know that I. I don't know that it's necessarily a safe zone so much as. I can use it as a base of operations. I don't know that it's safe. I don't want to assume that it's safe. We know what happens when that when I do that, right? Everybody remember Amnesia the Bunker? <laughs> so, I don't know if it's actually safe. All right. We got to put a bunch of stuff over. Tanning solution. We're just going to put all of this over. Oh, is this full? Oh, well, that's fine because we have this. 
I actually need to get my food back, but we'll do that in a sec. Uh, batteries, all that we're going to keep. I need the food back. Chicken of the forest. We will cook that. I should warm up soon. Yeah, 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 man. Let's turn on the fire. Let's turn on the fire. I got you, brother. Got you, man. All right. My clothes dry? Mostly. Clothes are dry. All right. I'm, I'm learning, guys. I'm learning. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right. We need to wait for contact one day. So we could sleep that away. Most of it, but... Carpentry station. I need branches, glue sticks, and rope. Oh, dude. Platform campfire. Straw bedroom. Okay, so... I have... I have the sticks, I think. Don't I? Somewhere. Is it large branches? Can I, like, pin this? It's like, hey, I want to craft this. Right? Instead of having to refer to this so much. I have the sticks. Okay. I need the glue sticks and the rope. Can I make rope at the loom? How do I make rope again? Donde esta rope? La ropa. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, tall grass rope. Can make some. Fire cover. Do, do, do. We'll make another axe. We're going to need that. That used rope, but that's okay. Fiber, small torch, okay. Glue stick. I thought I had the ability to make glue sticks, but I guess I don't. I want to see how to fight wolves, too. Hold on. I know I'm all over the place right now, ADHD-wise. Debuffs, shelter, cave, books, quests. Yeah, 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 yeah. Animals. Predators. Crow, fuck, prey. No. No. How do I general saving the game adaptations utility campfire instinct drinking world I want to know how to fight wolves because I fully don't under I don't fully understand it all right whatever have we unlocked another adaptation we have increase our health <clears throat> Shit. Shit. All right. Status. I am very hot right now. 28% sanity. We don't want that to get to 100, right? My body is naked. I think that's what I'm, I'm naked. As I like to say. All right. I don't know how to make flipping rope, dude. And these goddamn notes are 0.1. They're adding to my fucking carry weight. And I don't want them to. I just need tall grass to make rope. Do I have grass over here? Oh, dude, I'll take that and drop it. Um, tender, thread. Boop, 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 boop. What about over here? No, I guess I don't. Okay. And in the loom, I could just use fiber to make thread. But I don't need that right now. Okay. All right. Should I be... I should be putting food and stuff on these. Right? So that I can use it as I need to. Maybe like a batteries to replenish my flashlight. Nope. Can't put that over there. Um, I have some tall grass. Maybe bandages. All right put the bandages there okay spoiled food we're just dropping all right i mean maybe we should drop it outside 
Shouldn't drop it in the house because maybe it'll attract predators. So let's just drop it right outside. Let's stop. Save. Then we're going to go to sleep to pass some of this time. And then we need to go get a bunch of fucking tall grass again, I think. And we need to eat. We need to drink some water. Somebody knocking at my door. What's happening? Is there a bear outside? What, who is that setting up there? Who's setting up on my thing, dude? Is that who the fuck did you guys see the person up there bro bro absolute absolute the fuck not what the hell was that yeah right go back there was a there was a person just sitting there chilling and then the fucking bear outside, dude. Yeah, I mean, a kind of with like, what is this? Basement key? Basement key? The dude left a key for the outside basement. Huh? Okay, I, okay, first off, I unlocked more stuff to craft, so I think I'm learning that you have to progress the story for like everything to become available. And I'm running around like, why can't I do this? It's because I'm not, I wasn't progressing the story. Um, it said I was able to craft like new benches or something. I don't know. I thought, hold on, let's go open the basement. You know, let's, let's do what I just said, which is let's actually, what do here we, we go. Have here? Let's give it a shot. Hunting station. Passive hunting. New event unlocked. Okay. Uh, Jay. Okay. We have a shovel. I may find something useful. Rabbit there. hunting. We're going to start hunting. We got the map. We got a map. Oh, I'm starving. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to eat. That's right. That's right. Oh, hold on. I have, um, I have, uh, I have, uh, I have food. Beans. Le beans. <laughs> Eat, eat those beans. Oh my god, we have so many quests now. Holy shit. I have spears again too, guys. Good shit. Mortal and pedestal? <gasps> I can make crushed salt with salt crystals. I can make sugar. Glue sticks. Yeah, that's right. I need tree sap. Fresh water. Branches and charcoal. Herbal ointment. Okay. Broken kettle. What's in here? Food. Yeah, bro. Frying pan, cooking pot. Okay. Um. Oh, I can make a trap now. Glue stick, metal scrap, large branch. Okay. I have some wood here. I got to put a battery in my, uh, my gash light. Okay, hold on. Why did the putting the battery? There we go. There we go. All right, have we gotten everything from here? Okay, good. <laughs> Not all of us Appalachians are uh, skinwalkers. You say that now. Throw a rock or set a trap in a path, okay? Find the marked location, marked location, all right? All right, I feel like I should close this up as the hunting station. Um, trap that could temporarily hold an animal in place. Throw a rock or set a trap in its place. All right. Um, I need water too. I have water for my canteen. It's making me colder though. All right, we should probably fill the canteen back up too. Eating. 
All right, hunt a rabbit. Go to the marked location. We have a map now. Can I see the map? Where's the map at? Is it in my inventory? I got to turn off the fire. We want to save the fuel. Is, is my map in my inventory? Old map. Read. Buried stash. Some kind of... Okay. Like a mine entrance almost and a little like outhouse thing and then right down there is the buried st the buried stash all right um so branches glue sticks yeah and what did we need again for glue sticks it was downstairs that we could craft them right here Mortal and pedestal, we could craft them. Charcoal, that's right. Branch, tree sap. So we got to cut down trees. But the charcoal was what I thought the game told us that our fire would make charcoal. Right? I wanted to check the fire. Like, where do we get the charcoal? Huh? Soft wood, short log. All right. I think I have bowls and stuff I could put in there. Don't I? A broken bowl, a cooking pot. Can I put the cooking pot in the fire? Let's see. Can I put the frying pan in the, in the fire? And then do I have, do I not have? I think I dropped my bowls when uh, shit was getting real. Probably. We need a fire source to cook. I can make hot water. All right, I can make my water hot. Good shit. Hmm. Oh, I think you get charcoal from your campfires. You're hyped for Zucosis? I'm hyped for Zucosis too. I'm definitely playing Zucosis. Definitely playing Zucosis, so you guys don't have to worry about that. It's already hot. Eat the hot water, I guess. That's weird. Okay, stop this. Maybe I need to make a fire out here to get charcoal. I should have I should have a bonfire out here. What do I need to do? Branches, tender. Softwood and rocks. All right, let's go. We need to collect. We need to collect and see if we can hunt. But where's my trap? We're going to put that right there. We need rocks and wood and sticks and all that good stuff. Only three hours until we see what happens waiting for the signal. <clears throat> three in-game hours, not three real hours. Everybody palm down. All right. God, this takes forever to chop down a tree. They went super real. Bye, tree. Bye. Okay. <laughs> I love, yeah, how you just press a button and everything just all of a sudden just like bloop. I'm not trying to wash myself, game. I'm trying to get wood and such, you know? Uh, I do need to fill up my... My thing. There we go. How are, is my clothing not wet? Like, seriously. Alright. We need tall grass. More branches. What? What the hell? I'm eating a tree like a true lumberjack. Dude, I'd make the worst lumberjack, but yeah. In the game, for show. Sure. Um, all right, we need rocks and we need a uh, le rabbit is what we're looking for. Ooh, spears. All right, hold on, guys. No, 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 no. Number eight. 
put that away. Okay. It's gonna have a downward tilt to it, right? What a weak bitch I am. Holy shit. All right. I missed so bad right there. Bye bye. Bye, friend. God damn it. I'm over here making friends with the animals instead of killing them for the food. What's up here, dude? I can't go up there. Okay. Because that's ice. That was very anticlimactic. It was, oh, there's a wolf. Oh, no. I don't have a knife yet to skin animals, though. I just need rocks, brother. Where are all the good rocks at? Well, yeah, you're too far. I can't hit you over there. Don't get wet. <gasps> bunny, 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 bunny. Where'd it go? I scared it away. I scared the bunny away. How did that not? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I might be the worst hunter ever to live, guys. Fuck, I overshot it that time. And it disappeared. Into the ground. Okay, lovely. <laughs> oh, man. I am not... I, oh, hey, what's up, Woofy Poo? All right. What is all... Oh, tall grass. This look different for some reason. Am I going to starve? No, I'm not. Oh, you go... Oh. I see what you're saying. I thought you meant I was like starving right now. Yes, I am going to starve because I can't capture anything. You're absolutely right. It's okay, though. I'll figure it out. All right. Ooh, rocks. You want me to see me play the long dark? I am going to do that at some point. That is high on my list. <gasps> Damn it, it went away too! Is it because I'm just bumbling through, like charging everywhere? Probably. All right, we gotta be sneaky. We gotta be stealthy. We gotta stealth around and look for a rabbit while we're waiting. Actually, there's only like 10 seconds until this fire does something. a wolf medicinal herb we're gonna be right here i didn't plan this but hey we're here <clears throat> three two one for contact what's gonna happen wait it's telling me to wait another day what the fuck all right game maybe it's because i gotta be back at the cabin Somebody will try to contact me at the cabin, maybe. See more tall grass. Rabbit? Rabbit? Ribbit, ribbit? Fiber. See a crow. Whether that's a moose or a deer in the background, that thing always sounds like it's dying. <gasps> that was my... That was... That was an illusion. I need a torch. 
or we're going to start to see things in the dark. Maybe I need to get back to the cabin, bro. I think I have failed at bunny hunting. But maybe not at, at dur hunting. All right. You can't see me. No! Come here! Come here. Come here, you son of a bitch. Come here. Oh, that's a wolf. Okay, does. Okay, bye. Bye. Damn it, they got away. All right, at least I'm back near the cabin. Let's, um, let's end this night here. See what happens because the timer stopped counting down. Uh, use some of this. Light it up. We gotta dry our clothes. It's always our pants. Nothing else gets wet but our pants. I don't understand. Do I have enough to make a, a thingamabob? I need tender. I can make tender. There we go. I need five more rock. A platform campfire? It's a reliable source of heat. What else do I need? I need large rocks. I don't think I've ever found large rocks and I need more tree sap. I only have one large rock. Okay, I got to go out and collect more stuff for that. My pants should be dry. All right, let's stop. Let's save and rest. Where's my bed? Where's the bed? Make sure the saving's done. We're going to get that full eight hours in, baby. And Miss Ellie, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. I have 31 charcoal in the cabin fire. Really? Really? Where did you see that? Oh my God. I've missed it this whole time. Oh, thank you. Thank you for saying that. Dude, dear, dear God, dear God. All right. Hold on now. I needed charcoal for something, right? I needed it to make, 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 I need to make glue sticks. Glue, glue, glue sticks. Glue things. Glue sticks. Glue sticks. Glue sticks. I needed it to make glue sticks. I can make glue sticks. I can make glue sticks. I need more tree sap though. More tree sap. More tree sap now. More tree sap. Give me the trees. Give me the trees. Where are they? Over here? Fucking trees. It's a stick with glue on the end? I don't know. <laughs> no, it's literally a stick with like tree sap and charcoal on the ends. That's sticky, but I need it to make something. I don't know. Okay. I'm gonna have a bunch of extra wood to store. I think you can actually eventually build houses and stuff in this. I just haven't made it that far yet because this is like, this is hardcore survival. All right, how much tree sap did I get? Six. What did I need? What I was trying to craft was a fucking <clears throat> carpentry station. I need two glue sticks and then I needed 16 large branches and then I needed rope, which I don't remember how to fully make rope, but that's fine. Let's get back. I think I have enough glue sticks now. I don't know what the carpentry station unlocks, but I would like to see it. 
Josh G with the one dollar Canadian super chat. Josh, you legend. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that, man. Helps out a bunch. You're a rock star. Um, glue sticks. All right, and then we need more tree steps. So we definitely have enough glue glue now. Um, rope wise, we need tall grass. Did I put away all the tall grass that I collected? Didn't I collect like a shit ton of tall grass or I just used it to make, I gotta eat. I just used it to make um, all of that stuff. You have to stand still when you eat. I mean, you kind of do that in real life, right? But I can, I can fucking walk and eat. I don't know about you guys. Dude, no rest for the wicked looks good. Would you guys like me to play that when it comes out? A lot of you guys probably are going to play it for yourselves. The game looks amazing, though. Okay. I'm starting to get some grass. I could always use more rock, too. Dude, whatever is making that noise, will you please shut the fuck up? Yes, please. Everybody, Yeti, what's soul, up? Please. Welcome, Yeti. Thanks for joining. Now, where is the symbol? Oh, is this the place? <gasps> the symbol's right there. The buried treasure's here. I'm very close. Um, yeah, it's right here. Shovel. I have a shovel. Yeah, we found the place, the treasure place. Oh, yeah, boys. And girls and animals and everybody else. We got rope, sticks, lockpicks. I thought there was more than that here. Does that not count? I think that did. That completed the quest, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There was like five cans of food there, some lockpicks and stuff. That's not a bad, that's not a bad haul. This is where you poop. Somebody left money there. Look, I have a bathroom now. Fuck yeah, dude. Ooh, more cigarettes? Oh, way more food. And hey, we could take the leaky can back. What happens if I try to chop this? Maybe at some point. All right, let's go back to the cabin and drop off our haul. I can't jump because I'm over encumbered. Sometimes you got to tip the outhouse. <laughs> play whatever makes me happy. Yes. Well, no. Uh, okay. I always play stuff that I want to play. Don't get me wrong. I have a list of like a bajillion games that I want to play. Old games and upcoming games and everything. We've talked about that list a lot. Um, so don't worry. I always play something that I want to play. I never play something just because I think it'll do good. I play something because I like, I want to play it and I think it'll do good. But being in a channel focused growth mode, I do need to focus on certain types of games. Um, I will probably do no rest for the wicked just because I really want to play it and it looks so fucking cool. But I don't know that it exactly fits my channel. Because my channel is really built on like horror and um, survival, right? And I don't think No Rest for the Wicked exactly falls into those. But it doesn't matter. I'm going to fucking play it anyway. Why is there a hole now right here in the side of my goddamn cabin? All right. We got to put all this stuff. We got to put this stuff over. Uh. Oh, that's full. I'm going to have to make more chests, guys. Chicken, cigarettes, uh, depleted battery. I don't know what that would be good for, but we'll save it. Frying pan. Oh, I need another. I need to make another chest. Uh, Can't I do that? I can. 
No, that uses my rope though, and I'm trying to. <gasps> I can make the carpentry station. I can make the carpentry station. I can make the carpentry station. How do I move, rotate this though? Like, this is making me angry. That's in front of the door though. You know what? We'll just put it right. Right. Right here. Fine. All right. What does that do? All of that. Softwood log chunk. Oh, I can make planks of wood now. I don't know what that does. I can make a wooden cup and a wooden bowl, which I can then put over over chur. Owned containers. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to cook the wild potato. I thought a carpentry station would allow me to make spears and shit. What is this, dude? Oh, Q&E. Oh, you are so right, Hannah. That's a good point. Thank you. If I was smart, I would have tried that. Yeah, that's typically in survival games. You're right. All right, well, I crafted the stupid carpentry station. Now we should just do focus on doing a proper campfire, which we need more rocks for. Now we can do a tool station. Rope, metal wire, large branch, and nails. Do I not have all of this? Container for screw nails. I have nails. I have nails, bro. All right. Oh, I have everything except the rope. Tall grass rope. Make all the rope you can. Does it does it work now? Yeah. Woo -woo, woo -woo, woo -woo. All right. Progress. Oh, Hannah. You are so right. You absolute legend. Yep. You are very right. Good call. Now the question is, I'm running out of space in this fucking place. Actually, it's just Q. That's weird. E does, because I guess E is your internet. It's just Q. All right, hold on. Fuck it. We'll put it there. All I can make is a shovel? What kind of tool station is this? I can't make a fucking spear? Dude, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... How do I unlock the ability to make a spear? How is this beyond me to take a fucking knife or make a knife or something, dude? I'm gonna go fucking nuts. All right, we already have a hunting station downstairs, right? Let's go check the hunting station downstairs just to make sure that's what it is. Hey, what's up, Ali? Yep, we do have a hunting station. We can make a wooden trap. I think I have to progress the story. My walk challenge just finished. I think that's the problem. I think I have to progress the story. All right, let's just make sure that we've made everything, okay? We, we know about bandages. Yep, yep, yep. Have we made all of this before? Let's just make sure. I mean, like, literally, let's make sure that... <gasps> a knife! A knife! Oh, thank God. Now I can craft it in here. Okay, we didn't have a knife before. I've made a knife. All right. Actually, let's make two knives. I, I've i made a bed before. We put one down previously. Sap tap? Let's go do that. Do I need to put this at a tree? Let's go. Let's go get a sap tap going. Ooh, ooh, girl. Ooh, girl. We getting that sapage. Currently crafting one sap. That's pretty nice. Okay. What else can I make? That I haven't made before. Metal scrap. We need more metal scrap for that. Okay. Carpentry station. We've made all of... We have all of those. I want to do a platform campfire. 
Um, I don't know where we get large rocks though. It's been I've like only found one of those. In order to produce this, you need a fire source. Yep, 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 yep. That makes sense. All right, and then over here, what do we got? We did all that. This is downstairs at the um, mortar pedestal. We need a tanning station for that, a tools and trolley upgrades. I think we're at a point that we just need to progress the main story, honestly. Was that an illusion? What the fuck? Okay. I feel like we're doing good. I do need to add some more. I need to add some more wood to you. Um, do, 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 fuel. All right, we've topped you off. We're going to extinguish you because it's daylight right now. Oh, I needed another. Ch what do I need for chests? Rope, which I can make rope. Wait, did I not actually craft the chest? There we go. Can I put you right there, good sir? All right. We got to get rid of all this stuff in my inventory that's that's taking up too much space. Uh, da, 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 large rock. Da, 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 da. We got to keep our lock picks on us. Medicinal herbs, nails. Put our sap over. Put our rope. More rocks. We need that. Yep, we got to keep our shovel. Tinder we'll put over. Bowls we will put over. 51, okay. Ooh, fiber put over. Do I need the basement key on me to access the basement? Let's try Let's test. If not, I'm not carrying it around. No, I could just leave it open, right? Yeah. All right. But I probably should close it. Wrong. All right, we really just got to hunt a rabbit and we got to wait. So I'm going to I'm going to save and I'm going to sleep for like the <clears throat> for like two hours and then we'll go out and gather some more resources and that should count down the timer again for contact. Actually, you know what? I'm going to sleep. Until here. I'm going to sleep 12 hours. We're going to be hungry. Can someone hear me? Hello. Hello. Joel, is that really you? Of course it's me. You were expecting someone else? I, I don't know. I saw Mike not long ago. At least I think so. He just disappeared soon after. Maybe it was him, maybe not. Mind will play tricks on you. Stay sharp. How I'm starving. Actually, I, I'm doing okay. Your lessons paid off. You noticed my smoke signal? Smoke signal? No. Sorry, man. I... Joel? I don't like that. Joel? I'm losing you. What a piece of crap. Range sucks. Find a better spot. Find a better spot. Okay. Wait, I wasn't quite warm, warm. We want to be like all the way. I still don't understand the contact thing. Is that the story? Yeah, that's the story, Hannah. So the main story is we were like out camping with friends or something happened. It, it hasn't told us fully yet. Like we were out with this guy named Joel and this other guy named Mike in the wilderness something happened we're now like stranded but i don't it hasn't told us if it was a plane crash or like we just got lost or contact got cut off or something somehow but it's leading me to believe that maybe joel is not real <laughs> like in that maybe they died and we're just like hallucinating all of this or something um because 
there's weird stuff with like contacting him and everything so i don't know what's going on uh but yeah call joel from the hunting tower okay all right we are good here um i really need to get a rabbit so we should also try to hunt while we're on the way The tower's right over here. Yeah, it's 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 weird. And Joel is like the guy that was just talking to us on the radio. He's like the survival expert, I guess, is what the game is kind of telling us. Like he's the one who taught, I think our name is Daniel. He's the one who taught me and Mike like survival stuff, I guess you could say. So now we're just trying to get back with our friends and figure out what's going on. <clears throat> I, I think very much right now, our main character, Daniel, is an unreliable narrator. Because I we don't know fully what happened to put us in this position. So we don't know, like, what experience he's been through. You think it's a Wendigo skinwalker type thing? It might be. I don't know. We'll see. Also, too, this is early access, so this is Act 1. Um, I think the info the dev sent me said that this does have, like, there is a bit of a, like, conclusion, but they have more acts plan and more stuff to further the story, so who knows where this is going. It does Joel, seem different the way he talks. It does. I need what? Joel, repeat that. I can't hear you. Find the harbor. Find the harbor. Railroad. What railroad? Whoa! 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 Hey! Hey, stop that! Thanks for playing the very beginning of Winter Survival Story Mode. Soon we will provide you with its continuation. In the meantime, you I guess there was no conclusion. I guess they were wrong. In the meantime, you can load any only any save file and continue the adventure or try the other game modes. We hope you enjoy it. Don't hesitate to leave a review or share your thoughts on our Discord server. What's up, Anthony? Welcome. Dude, yeah, holy shit. That's where they're gonna leave. No, dude. I could always load the game back up. Ain't no way they did us like that. That is how they did us. <laughs> All right, hold on. So yeah, if you look at uh, where is it at? Where is it at? Um, when we started the game, right, it said Act One, and there was a bunch more. There's also different ways to play. So hold on, let's quit out. I want to look at their roadmap with you guys real quick. So I guess I actually... Okay, so in fairness to them, I've been streaming for 3 hours and 55 minutes. They do say on their Steam page, and they did say in their email to me, that the current Act 1 story mode is between 2.5 and, and 5 hours of gameplay, depending on how you play. <clears throat> Three hours and 50 minutes. I think for the first 20-ish minutes of stream, I talk about I talked about Pacific Drive's ending. So till three and a half hours is, you know, right close to in the middle between two and a half and five. So they're they're very transparent with where the game's at currently. So that makes sense. Here's their roadmap. So they have Cold Wave coming, which is a new game mode. They have Story Act 2. World update number one, world update number two, and story act three. All of this is planned for 2024. Okay. Also, new animals, a new snow system, a new tree system, new building types, fishing system, and much, much more. Okay. Yeah, we did find a fishing hook. I don't think I experienced everything either. Yeah, I'm very intrigued. I'm curious to see to where they go with this game as early access. You know? 
I will say, I think that's a little... St so, it depends on how much you like this type of game. $25? I don't know. Two and a half to five hours of gameplay. You also have, like, let's boot it back up. Let's see if I could show you... I don't know. Like, 15 to 20 might be a better price point, in my personal opinion. But we'll see. All right, hold on, hold on. I am glad that I got to finish this today with you guys, at least the story part. Can I, like, start a new... If I start a new, does that fuck... Yeah, here we go. So you can also do Endless right now, which there is no end to Endless, okay? Endless is just go out there there's more resources to collect they said in endless mode and you just fucking survive as long as you can uh and then story mode if you look here and you pick your difficulty act one act two act three act four act five so they have a lot they have a lot planned <clears throat> i'm intrigued by this okay i'm gonna be honest with you i'm intrigued by the story i want to see where the story goes I'm, I'm gonna keep playing this with you guys as they release new content um i like the survival mechanics but i'm gonna be honest i like survival games where it's not as hardcore so the fact that the survival aspect is so hardcore i mean i'd probably get used to it but that's a little off-putting to me but that's what they're going for that's what they advertise themselves as so kudos to them i think they nailed that um but i'm not so much about hardcore survival because i don't like having to manage too much stuff too often because it kind of like it it stresses me out too much especially with like i get i, I can't prioritize Sarah Davidson with the five gifted channel memberships. Those went to Tawar, Blue Burbus, uh, Energenic, and Fluffykins, and Caramel Acorn. Sarah, thank you, you legend. I really appreciate that. Welcome to channel membership, guys. <clears throat> Not to be outdone, Classic Mini Cooper with the five gifted channel memberships as well. Those went to Lucius Lou, Hollow Crystal, Brian Laura, Brianna. Welcome to and Andrew Saxton. Welcome to channel membership on behalf of Mini Cooper. Mini Cooper, you rock star also. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And now it's Mini Raining Gifts. It is. It absolutely is. All right. You guys are asking what's next. Hey, listen, I'm going to I uh six pieces of content a week, right? So, I think I'm going to call it here because I do have a video that I'm working on for you guys with a new uh psychological horror game um that's going to come out tomorrow. So tomorrow I'll be releasing a new video on that. It's going to be a little bit of a longer video. Thursday, I will be back with stream 10 a.m. Eastern time as normal. Hey, on Thursday, why don't we do Poppy Playtime Chapter 2? I wanted to stream, so I did an edited video on Poppy Playtime Chapter 1 because that was only like, that's only like an hour and a half, roughly, when you play it. And, uh... Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 is like a three to four hour game, which is perfect for a stream. So um, let's do Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 because I've never played it and I want to see the story. And then Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 is like between five and seven hours. So for the Saturday night stream, why don't we finish off the current Poppy Playtime franchise and fucking play... Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. We'll have a long Saturday night stream. We'll, I'll be all caught up on the Poppy Playtime games. We'll have played them all together so that when Chapter 4 comes out, we can hit it right away. How many times did I die in Chapter 1? I think I died like two times. <clears throat> I don't think... I think I left one death in the video. I can't remember. But yeah, but I died like two times. Um, So that'll be the plan for streams this week. We'll be caught up on that. And then edited videos. I got a new psychological horror game video coming at you tomorrow. On Friday, I got a collab video. And if I could swing it, there's another horror game video that I want to do that's a shorter one. So I might release two videos on Friday. No promises yet. Depends on how crazy things get. And then on Sunday, I've got another horror game video coming for you too. So I've got three videos right now in the pipes cooking. Cooking. So... But that, that's the plans. That's the plans for the rest of the week. So I don't want to spoil what the videos are. You guys will have to see them when they come out. 
They're cool little indie indie horror games. So this week, a lot of horror stuff this week. Survival stuff we started with today, but the rest of the week is going to be all spooky dukes. All spooky dukes, okay? Listen. Thank you. Thank you for the support today, for the donations, for the memberships. Really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I'm going to go edit shit. I'm going to finish out my work day with some editing, get a video ready for you guys tomorrow. Take care. Be awesome. Stay awesome.